trying to connect. Hello, people. Good evening. Welcome to um, the Spirit and the Paranormal with Sally Ann and Bob. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm another... Sally Ann. I'm Sally Ann. Welcome. I have not set that off this time, and you're blocking it. Okay. You're going to. Oh, I don't know where to put you, babe. Uh, it's gone off. I'm too uh, big. We, we I'm made... too big for the screen. I'm sorry, people. That is not me that's it. What is um, it? Let's introduce ourselves, tell people what's going on here, right. um, and then they'll be aware of why I've got the spooky dookie. The people um, that... I'm Sally Ann. Okay, Sally's introducing herself, let her introduce herself first and then we'll do it. For those who don't know, I'm Sally Ann, spirit medium and paranormal investigator. And with me is my husband, Bob, who's a paranormal investigator. Oh uh, yeah. We are here, coming live to you from the Lean in Weymouth. Um, we've come down um, to... Um, to see if there's any spirit here or not. The property dates back to 1740 and it's turned out to be um, one of the best we've ever been to for um, paranormal activity. Um, I'm just watching around us. We've got, Bob and I are the only people in this 30 bedroom? 35. 35 room hotel. Um, so there is absolutely no one here but myself and Bob and a lot of spirits that are actually physically active with us. Um, I'm watching at the moment because there's um, the whole hotel, as we say, it's empty, so all the lights are off apart from the security lights, which uh, um, react to motion. movement. Yeah, the motion. The motion detector lights, so basically you walk into the hallway, the light will come on. Um, so basic yes. economy saving. Yeah, we're very good for paranormal. To the right of Bob, we've got a light that keeps on firing off, and just outside this door, there is another one, um, and it went off. I did say to Bob, if that one goes off, I'm, I'm off screen. But um, I'm frankly quite brave, but people at home watching, please mind my back. I had an experience in there last night for those that weren't watching. We just randomly went live last I, night. I would um, advise anyone that didn't see last night to take a look at it, um, to just see what happened down here in the bar area. It was quite interesting. It was very unnerving. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I'm quite a sure-footed um, spirit medium um, and paranormal investigator. I'm very hard um, on debunking um, and I'm not very easily swayed or scared. Um, grown up with the spirit the whole entire lifetime so I'm quite used to them being around me and um, something happened in this room last night uh, which totally unnerved me so people at home you're my eyes you're my ears watch my back we've got a lot of items put out some are noisy here tonight some are going to be flashing um, as I say keep your eyes on, on what's going on behind us yeah to all the people that are watching so far, Gwendolyn's um, said hello. We've got Eileen and the usual crowd watching, and a yeah. few new faces as well, which Brilliant. is great. So Brilliant. thank you for coming. Um, as you say, last night we've done a, a live info in here. It's a 35 bed hotel, 1700, as Sally said, with the only two in here. So when you're getting motion detector lights going off, something's happening. Um, and it was quite an experience for me to come down here and see Sally um, having to change her pants. The language is a little bit worse than that. The, <laughs> yeah. the security light has just gone off to the right of Bob. Gemma's on. What Gemma Lurie's on. Gemma, brilliant, brilliant. Keep watching. Um, the security light has just gone off to um, behind Bob so that I can see from this angle. Uh, there is, at, unless your eyebrow went over, I thought somebody was there then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There is absolutely no one in this building to set that off and it keeps going off. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do the show tonight um, and then we're going to go to the loo for 10 minutes and you know, whatever. Oh, no. And then we're coming yeah. back to do a live investigation. So um, once finish, the show finishes, if you wish to watch that, then... Um, See, the thing is with our show, we're, quite, Facebook, we're quite happy to cut it short to an hour maybe on the chat side, have a quick break go into an investigation. Mm. We'll see how long it takes, see what questions come up. So um, bear in mind that um, the lean here um, has never been investigated um, and there obviously has been, over, since 1740, a lot of different reasons, um, different uh, 
um, energy, energy that comes through here, different things have happened. <coughs> um, so there's a long history of um, what's gone on under this roof. Yeah, right. So let's talk about the weekend as a whole. So Sunday night, we were in Winchester at the Eclipse. Two small teams, five guests. You know, all anyone can see is the back of my head because I'm watching. Yeah, yeah, watching yeah. Stop, watching it again. stop watching that. If someone sees something, they'll tell you. Right, so we had five guests in Winchester, the Eclipse Hotel, um, obviously very famous for the beheading of Alice Lyle <clears throat> during the English Civil War. So, to top it up, we had two reenactors. One of them was dressed as a royal, a royal army, so the Cavaliers, yeah. as a guard. And we had Mistress Sarah. And Mistress Sarah. So the guard, the clothing that he was wearing, would have been the clothing they wore the night that Dame Alice was killed in the morning. So that was quite interesting. How did you think that was? <coughs> um, we, I've only been to the Eclipse twice. Um, for the simple reason the paranormal were not allowed in there. Um, we're very honoured to be the first official paranormal group through the door. Other than Peter Underwood in 1929. Something like that. So it's all new <coughs> there to the spirits um, in the eclipse. And um, we went in the first time with um, a pair of mediums that were blindfolded who was Bobby, <coughs> Harnett and Debbie Ward, Deborah Ward. Um, they were picked, no one knew we had the Eclipse at this stage that was ready for paranormal investigation. So we had them picked up from a distance away, blindfolded and driven in, guided in through, um, the blindfolds come off once they're in the Eclipse. Um, the owners of the Eclipse, thank you very much, they covered all the pictures and any evidence in there so that they wouldn't have a clue um, where they were, what was going on, what happened in there, etc. Um, so that was our first visit and we had um, paranormal activity. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. Um, we had shadow persons behind the bar, we had lights going on um, when the switch was behind the peanuts, wasn't it? No yeah. one was behind the bar to have done that. Um, I was trying to think if it was quite... Oh, uh, yeah, the wine cooler. The wine cooler door open. So there was a lot of physical energy that night in there and they were um, communicating really well. So on our second time, which was last Sunday, to go back in and, and investigate again, we had our walking, talking trigger objects, um, Mr. Sarah and uh, the King's Man. Um, previous to the investigation starting, through respect, I spoke to the spirits in the building and said, we're not here to offend you or upset you in any way. We're just setting the scene um, for people at home to see, um, you know, what it would have looked like. Also, we were hoping that they, the spirit may want to interact with these people. Um, but my personal feeling is that it went the opposite way. We it say that. I quiet. mean, Eileen's just pointing something out about the person I'd sat on the stairs. Stop looking down there. Well, when she's pointing something out, I'm going to have a look on after <laughs> last. <laughs> we're talking about the eclipse still. Um, so, yeah, pointing out about the person on the stairs. So there was things on Sunday, but it's a little things. more subtle than the first yes, visit. Yes. Um, um, we're going well, back in on Sunday the... 7th, we'll come to that in a minute. Let's talk well, about... I was going to say, how we're doing it differently this time, but carry on. Yeah, well, I want to link it in with Gemma as well, so we'll talk about the whole thing, the next one. Light's gone on. The light's gone on, ladies and gentlemen. The security light has gone back on again. So either there's someone moving around out there, or we need to go out there and in a minute and debunk what is actually causing it to go on and off. But let's now move on to last night in here. So we come down at lunchtime, we settled in. Now, good, good look all the way around the building, didn't we? Yeah. We've yeah. never been here before, we've been inside. I mean, the place is empty. Okay, so the only room with heat on is our bedroom. Everything else is still in the. Shut down. Yeah, shut down mode. Shut down that's, all you can, that's all you can say about it, really. It's yeah. in shutdown mode. Um, so it, it was interesting to have a look round, and it's almost like behind the scenes, wasn't it? So the beds weren't made, or the rooms were, and some of the repairs were only halfway through. They had a couple of weeks before they're ready to reopen. And uh, 
yeah, so we had a good month. We went out, we had some food, had an afternoon kit, come down at nine o'clock basically, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Set the Frank box up, the Frank's box up, and one with no noise. And as soon as we switch it on and, and just asked out loud, is there anyone here who wants to speak to us? The first voice that came through that radio was, who are you? Yeah? Yeah. See, at that point, we just looked at each other and thought, hmm, hang on a minute, is this, is this what if we just click something, you know, um, freaky that's come across from the radio channel? You right, mate? So we continued, didn't we? Yeah, so we carried on. And we've we've done. We are. We said, we explained who we are. We introduced ourselves, and the female voice went, "Yes." Mm. Yeah. Followed very quickly by the first male voice again saying, "Will you talk to my soul?" That's so quite that poignant. Point we knew. Yeah. We had a spirit link on that. That's soul. quite poignant. You don't imagine that to be on too many radio stations. Also, quite a, a strong thing to say. It was also the same voice, wasn't it? The male Can I just sex. say to the people at home, in here right now, if I didn't have my coat on, Sally would be going, there's spirit near you, because I oh, am absolutely going prickly, and I can feel the pressure on my head when I'm talking about what happened upstairs. So Immediately behind us here, you can probably see the white lantern is a case here, and there's also a crack ball there. So um, if they want to, well, yeah, the temperature's off. There's a, there's a change, there's a change that as, as we're talking about. Yeah. So we've done that, but as always, as soon as you start recording, well, the, case, the radio just eased off a bit. There were still bits in there, but not as clear, not as strong. Um, we got Carl watching, hiya Debbie, Mick Patterson from last night, and Andy Duncan, which is hey, nice to see. Yeah, I didn't even know Andy had his Facebook back up. Happy days. Hello, Andy. Andy's so, one of our team leaders, for anyone that doesn't know. Yeah. Deborah so, Ward is a team leader and psychic medium that's work, that works with us as well. She's our, our girl. Yeah. So we'll push it on. We got on, and then we're asking the questions, aren't we? And then Sally, as we were talking, said, let's go downstairs. And the voice came over the radio and I went, no. Quite clear, wasn't it? No. no. Yeah. So anyway, we as, we were, <laughs> as we were sat there, we were still filming, and you can see in the background, um, thanks for all the hearts, guys. That's great. Hi, Carl. Finally, night I can watch. Yeah, well, if you didn't watch that rubbishy football team of yours, you'd be all right. <laughs> it's not my fault I was playing Europe on a Tuesday. Um, yeah. So, yeah, a security light went off down here, and there's no reason for anything to be moving down here. Although you I can just, see it from upstairs. I just heard somebody thing. moving upstairs. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, no, there's someone here. I would have got my back now. There's footsteps um, upstairs. Yeah, so, we said we were coming down here. Um, a security went, light went off. We were actually sat in the reception to start off with last night, um, and there was no reason, as, it, as I said, we are on a total lockdown just while I was out in the building. God, can you feel that? No, how can they? You. I can feel it, yeah. That's why I got my coat on. I did get the prickle in my neck. But anyway, so we come down here, and we sat, and we tried, and we called, and we didn't get anything really. And then Sally stood up, and she's walking around talking, and then she suddenly went, there's someone here, turned around, and I've never seen this lady jump at all. But she did that night. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm standing there, and... Um... I work a lot of the time with my sensitive side um, where you know you get that feeling that someone's behind you um, and I had that and I of course you turn around to have a look um, and I did not expect to see a man standing there just staring me straight in the face and the feeling that came off of him was displaced um, anger um, and he just literally just stood there staring um, really really unnerved me um, then we went from there and... Um, Mick, are you watching on our page or on the um, Spiritual Productions? Because you're saying that group admin is live, but has you and the team, but no audio. Well, when you say me, it's only me and Sally here. So are we going live through Spiritual Productions as well? No. Yeah, it could be. This is what I'm trying to think. Right. Can, anybody, can everybody else at home hear us? Thumbs up, hearts, please. Give us a quick splash. Can you hear us? 
I don't want to be sat here talking. The mixed family's got no sound. If we're talking and you can't hear us, that'd be pretty pointless. If there's some light parts, but they must be able to hear us because it, Eileen answered about nothing happening. Said the lady on the stairs. Oh, there's a heart and everything going up then. Yeah, Eileen said she can hear us. Brilliant. Can Brilliant. you put some thumbs up, mate, please? Yeah, give some thumbs up. Give some uh, hearts. Molly, people, happy. Not, Gwendolyn, I'm not telling Sally that. Brilliant. They're going up now. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you so Spiritual much. Spiritual Productions, working on the sound now, Bob. Yes to your sound. Right, cool. So, so after that, yeah. um, we had the cat balls out. I moved them all into the, the, where it was that this gentleman come forward to me. Um, and Bob asked him if he wanted us to leave his show, fire the cat ball off, and the cat ball went off. Yeah. Um, then you asked again. It was. I mean, the thing was, that. Sally was quite insistent that this bloke was not happy with Sally being here. It was. There is um, a um, a little bit of background to that, which we'll get to in a minute, but it was definitely me. I should not have been here. No. So she said to me, you talk, you're the man. Well, having been told by Sally he doesn't want to hear, the first thing I'm going to say is, if you don't want us here, please set the cat balls off. Now, if the cat balls go off behind me when I'm sat here and I'm saying it now, that is going to be quite spooky. But, last night, in the dark, I've asked the question, you don't want us here, make the cat balls go off, Oof, they're off, they go. There's no movement, just the lights come on, and then stop. So you'll hear Sally saying, oh my God. And then it clicks in what's just happened, so she's like, Check it again, check it again. So, okay. Sally's asked me again, will you set the, the cat balls off a second time? Boom, they're off again. It was quite amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. Free Sally time. then okay. is changed her mind. She's then at the point of going, well, if we've got communication, we ought to stay. So, well, actually, what I did was moan, did the argument. Yeah, we, we, we had a little. We had to make a communication for. We had a domestic. Time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's worth watching in its own right. But, um, yeah, so it's quite normal on this program. We have domestics all the time. Do you know there's a temperature drop? Do you know yourself when you communicate with spirit or they're coming around you um, and you get that air conditioning feeling? It keeps hitting. And yeah. There is no air conditioning around us here. I just had, that's what I was looking up at. See if there was. Um, there is no air conditioning, so we're definitely not alone here this evening. Okay. Um, but anyway, getting back to the story. We've had a little domestic. I said, Tammy, out of respect, I've asked her twice if he wants her to leave. He said, no, I'll ask a third time. So I've said, like, for the third time, if you don't want us here, set the cat ball off. And for the third time, the yeah. cat ball went off. That's time to leave. He's asking you to leave. So, so out of respect, we do. Even, you know, we do want to get dragged out of somewhere. Yeah, because the gentleman um, that was staring at me, he <laughs> walked through the bar and went out the door behind the bar. Well, I've seen this gentleman owns this place today, and I said to him about it, and I said he went through that door, what would that be? He said, well, at the moment, there's been something built on the back, but that would have been the exit from this building. So that was quite interesting today. Yeah. Only he's just called us the Richard and Judy of the paranormal. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Um, so anyway, we go back upstairs. <laughs> And we're still, as we sat there, we still got the radio on, we're seeing shadows over to the left hand side. The people at home are seeing the man, the gentleman that was here, looking through the window of the door upstairs. Mm. We've got a shadow person stood to our right in the doorway, and then on the disabled ramp, there's also some sort of figure there, wasn't there? Mm. Mm. Lots, people, lots of activity in here. And so we wrap it up, half past one. We've done a four hour. We were only going to stay for an hour, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Ended up four you know, hours. One leads to another. <laughs> we go to bed, shut the door. There's people walking around in the corridors outside. There's only us two in here. Mm. It was that convincing. Sally made me get up and put the bolt on the door in Got case that. someone had broken in and had the, the pass key or something. Do you know, that's what went through my head last night, to be honest. I knew there was only Bob and myself here. And when I turned around and face to face with this man standing literally here from me, my first reaction was I thought that was human. And then what what did turn my tummy is the way he was looking at me, he was just staring through me. 
And as I said, there is a little bit of background on this. Um, walking around the hotel during the day, um, it's got a nice feeling. You're aware there's, um, as they would say, lots of different layers of energy there. Um, everything, everything's lovely. And we sat down in the reception and um, a lady came up to me and she was talking about um, this being a high class um, brothel, basically. Um, so when we came down, made it to this level, I knew there was something not feeling quite right. So I'm thinking, you know, down here, um, I'm starting to get the impression that, you know, these men have got this rough bit sometimes, and this down here was the, um, ex you know, the um, kinky bit, okay? Um, so we left it at that and we went away. Um, and this lady I know that I was communicating with in the reception um, was the madam, basically, of the gentleman's um, pleasures. So um, that's where we left it. And then when we came down last night, this gentleman stood in front of me. Um, as I say, you know, people watching last night picked up as well that you, you knew down here, um, which would have been like a little basement, I suppose, you know, silent basement type of thing. Um, at the moment, it's yeah. like the entertainment room, but in, in that time, um, there's gambling, there's stuff coming through the back door that shouldn't be coming through. Um, women were getting hurt, um, that type of thing. And all the time this is going on, and we're picking this up, I'm aware this lady's here and she's not coming forward. She just doesn't come forward down here. She, she's back all the time. You can't really um, communicate with her. So obviously it's a place that she shouldn't have been. <coughs> and I do feel that if women came down here, it was for one thing and one thing only, no difference and any respect. But the labor goes potentially. There's definitely no respect for them. Um, so what they're up to, I don't know. But it, it does not, I do not think it was good. <coughs> yeah, this guy yesterday, he had, um, as he looked through me, um, I remember seeing him, I would say he was 50, somewhere around there, and I want to go to 1950s, 1960s sort of attire, uh, looked like something out of um, the Mafia, uh, you know, the pinstripe suit, uh, very stern, heavy looking face, in mind of Robin De Niro, Robert De Niro type. Um, Effect, you know, it was um, definitely unwelcoming. You know, I don't do demonic, and I'm not going to say he was. I just know that when he was here, oh, no, no. he's impressing on me that you would never have been allowed down here. My so, um, my impression is certainly not demonic. Um, and, yeah, yeah. And you know, that's not a word I've used, but very strong, a very strong energy. This mm, was his mm. area. You knew it. Mm. Um, and you're still on edge now. I, am. I can see you're still twitching. I am. So. I am. Do you know, between you and me, you know, I've been investigating for a long time and I've been through a lot of things um, paranormally and in life. And this did unnerve me. Um, as I said, I've got my, my eye behind me um, because I know he's here. I just mm. know he's here. I mean, Mix picks up a point there that we haven't mentioned is that the shadows could be seen by people that were watching live. Yeah, because you were with us, weren't Mix, last night? Someone's mentioning that the the camera keeps going brighter and mm -hmm. yeah we're, we're seeing it but there's nothing we can do there's a light above our head otherwise we'd be in pitch darkness above uh, here so i don't know if that is one of the things that's causing that I don't it could know. be energy because it just keeps dropping suddenly doesn't it which mm. you know we sat here and it's quite comfortable and suddenly it's like a blast of um air conditioning through yeah um so if there is spirit with us we've got people watching and it'd be nice for you to come forward and communicate and let them know that you're here on this little table here behind us there's a cat ball and a K2 so if you go towards that maybe you could push the cat ball for us or light up some lights. Right, let's change the subject away from the paranormal very quickly. Okay. Let's talk about Gemma. Yeah, young Gemma. Gemma Lurie. Um, um, I'm going, not even... I'm we're quite, going back, sorry. I did write down the name for a medical condition but it's in red and in this light I can't read it. I'll have a go. Um, Gemma, I know Gemma's watching us, um, give us some hearts, give us some love, um, brave young lady. We're going back to the eclipse on April the 5th? Yes. Oh my god, did you feel that? Um, we're going back there um, on Sally's Sunday, April the, the 5th. But it's so powerful, isn't it? We're going back to the eclipse, I'm glad in, got me out, the eclipse in Winchester on um, Sunday the 5th of April. 
Um, all proceeds will be going towards Jenna. Um, it's a ghost hunt, so if you're interested in it, it will not be on our website. You have to contact me to get tickets for it. Um, Gemma, don't laugh Gemma if you're watching. Gemma has craniocervical instability, um, which is a very rare condition. Um, to the best of my knowledge, um, there isn't anyone in England that can treat this condition. She needs to go to Barcelona. I thought that had changed. No. She has to go to oh. Barcelona, um, which is a very expensive thing because it's going to have to be private. Because so this, this, this country will not fund it. So she's um, trying to raise funds left, right, and centre for the sake of her life. Okay. So <coughs> the condition is. Let me just uh, to keep it quick. The brief outline of it is the head and the neck are not connected properly, and one false move is the end of her life. So that we, is that. Simple. So funds need to be raised fast for this young lady so she can start on her, her journey of the operation and healing and rebuilding um, before it's too late. So on our page there is a link in the announcement where you can donate um, to her fund, which is a registered charity. Um, also, um, as I say, we're going to do this investigation at the Eclipse in Winchester, UK. Um, on April the 5th. If you wish to join us on that, please PM me or Bob. Um, there are very limited places there. We don't go in with more than, I think, six guests, isn't it? Six it's will be the most. It, yeah, because there's so much physical activity in this building that if there was too many, you would miss it. So we're coming down onto six um, guests that night, so it's very much a VIP type of um, investigation. That's, that's Gemma saying she's Thanking you for mentioning her. You're welcome, Jim. Gemma, we, we, in a way, I sort of feel like we let you down a little bit because we done the fundraising in high for you and then we did, we stopped when we should have kept going. So I'm hoping that this year we'll get two, three, four events in. Yes. That will be for Gemma. So yeah. Start with the eclipse. Yeah, um, hopefully we can do a little bit more for you, mate. And we wish you all the best. It yeah. really is something I, you, you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy. So. As I say, as little as £5 donation straight through. You can text it through. It's quite simple to do. You can see the link on our page. I will put it up again tonight. Um, you know, £5 to us is what? What can you get for £5 when you can compare, Point of when you compare that to somebody's life? Piece of and piece. you could help her. She's a young lady from the New Forest in Hampshire. Um, truly deserves the support from us all. Registered charity, so we know it's genuine. Um, I've met her, so I know it's genuine. Beautiful young lady that that really is having a hard time. So, hands in your pockets, guys, if you will, and give her a little bit of support. Um, and as I say, if you wish to come on the investigation with us at the eclipse, which is totally for Gemma, all of it's going for Gemma. Please PM myself, Sally Ann Hunt, or my husband Bob. Hunt, yeah, yeah and we for can that talk one. From there. Even the venue uh, uh, of the note of free, so. That's great. Gemma says thank you very much. Um, Gwendolyn keeps feeling she's in the place in here and the multi level of era that are mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Well, it would be, um, Gwendolyn, you know, we're going right back to 17, late 1700s. 17, yeah, yeah, yeah right, but, mm -hmm. so mid 1700s. Lots of different activity obviously in here. Probably the way it looked, it would have been multiple occupancy at one point. Um, and as you picked up yesterday, gambling. Hello, psychic medium empathic. That's a very strange name. Psychic medium empathic. Now, you were following the eclipse, if I remember rightly. Um, I think I messaged you to say we're, go we're going live tonight on there or something. Um, but yeah, if you can help Gemma, please do. Cool. Um, Caroline, you're not the only one that. Caroline Cliffs that said the bottom half of the legs have gone cold. You should be sitting there with this bloody freezing. Do you know, I was just going to say, you know, anybody that's, it was quite funny that um, they came up because I was going to say, anyone that, that is paranormal or, or works spiritually or anything understands that a water, water near a property raises that energy and helps it come through. It's almost like a portal. And we're right on the seafront. I could throw a stone to him and probably hit the sea. So, you know, I feel that's why I, the energy has stayed here. You know, I kind of wish I was here in the storm. On Saturday and Sunday, there was obviously Storm Dennis in the UK. Mm. Um, mm. Massive winds. 
there were uh, videos on Facebook of the seafront, the water coming over the seafront walls in Weymouth here. It would have been superb to sit here and watch it. Yeah, but same thing, anybody watching doesn't know, we actually come from the New Forest in Hampshire, um, the nearest beach to us is Leeds. Um, yeah. And some of the videos on there, thank you, if anyone's watching here that put those on and risked themselves, it was amazing. And, um, you know, you can just imagine what it's like here. I'm just going to get a cap on. <laughs> ah, the team at Spiritual Productions are watching, Sally. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, there we go, we've got a cap. Can you see that? Let's have a little go at that. Yeah, you can see that flashing, can't you? Right, I'm going to bring that on the table because the temperature keeps dropping here. We're going to keep our feet away from the table because I keep kicking it. So if I kick it now, it'll go off. Someone's We've got the K2 here. Cat ball back there on the bar. Um, what would be the hind bolt in sensor light we put out? Um, the light over there keeps going on, um, which is a sensor light. I've got a K2 across here on the table, which has got siren on it. We've got a K2 here, which w they can flash up. So we've got lots of objects around the room. As you can see, on the table in front of us, we've got the Frank's box and the with and without white noise, which we'll be putting on an investigation at the end of this program. Right. So <coughs> Gwendolyn so, is picking up here this room being di divided into small spaces by curtains. If it was a high pass brothel or a brothel of any type, that probably happened. Yeah. I'm just looking at this camera here. Mm -hmm. Oh God. That's you, you Wally. Oh my <laughs> God, I've got it again, I told you, I've lost my nerve now. We're running a, uh, we've got it on there so we can see your comments coming up. And I turn around and I can see myself coming back from the cat ball. And I'm thinking it's somebody coming up behind Bob now. Oh my God, give me the tranquilizers. That really did me in last night. Honest to God, I have experienced some things paranormally. I have and never seen Sally and but last night. Those. It really got me. Oh dear, here comes the laughing phases. I don't have a thing coming <laughs> up behind you. They <laughs> weren't laughing phases. I was nearly out that security door that we got a fire door behind us. I was nearly out it. Believe me, I was nearly out that door. I'll tell you what, you lot at home today, you ain't got a scratch and sniff phone, so that's all I'm going to say. I tell you, we've come away on holiday to investigate a few um, paranormal places to see where the activity is. And you know, I think I'm going home. Back it, I'm going into a rehab, my nerves have gone. <laughs> but anyway, to cheer people up, we are now in um, discussion with the owners to bring a team. Yeah. Been very, huge, very quickly. It? it won't be next weekend because they've got meetings and I don't think it'll be the weekend after because the hotel needs um, just Finish putting, putting yeah. back in just to open the summer season. But I'm hoping very soon we can bring a team down get you all to have a look at it because honest to god and it's weird do you know how things happen we're sat at home we're talking and go we, need, we, we need don't remember the last time yeah. we had any evidence we need you know all the locations around us have all been done so much they just feel like the energy is drained we need somewhere fresh no, I can't believe you know. what you're <laughs> going to be and sally's going to be laughing about this all night now um <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so I know we, we've mentioned it to Mick up in Birmingham. Um, I, I'm hoping that all the team will be able to come down. And uh, I'm sure there'll be room for a few guests as well. Indeed. They? We're so, hoping to get you in. So um, we'll, we'll see where we go. Do you know what's so lovely about this place is um, if anybody saw the little video I've done this morning in the rain, we walked from the train station to here and it was, what, two minutes? So if you don't want to drive to Weymouth, you can get the train. Um, it's just around the corner. It's just so convenient everywhere. And the scene is absolutely amazing out these windows, isn't it? What are you looking at? Nothing. Right. Um, where's the crucifix? There it is. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't Eric believe that. I feel so stupid now, but that really did it then. I looked up. Bob's playing um, the video. Um, on his phone Eric, to the side. Touch, girl, because, you know, we've got, we will have a load coming up. If you're only up, I don't know how far only up the road is, but Erica Spencer said she'd love to come on Yeah, please keep your us. eye on the page. Um, um, Bob's just... running this so he can see your comments come up, because they're, they're on the camera that's filming us, just we can't see them, it's too far away. So you've got the phone here, and it's running about 30 seconds behind. 
Um, so when I turned around like that, I could suddenly see somebody coming up behind bobbing it with me. So <laughs> I do, I need therapy after we finish this hotel. Do you know, yeah. we've, we've had some amazing stuff. Um, we were talking the other day, and, and from my heart, I felt like most of the venues that we go to have been overdone. How long um, have you loved Wayne with your love this hotel? The, the venues we go to, everybody goes to, and you know, I'm saying to Bob, we, we really need something new. Um, and it, it came through, didn't it? It was directed across to us. Because I do feel like, you know, there's certain places that with known activity that everybody goes there, and it's nice to have somewhere new, especially like Ooh. the Eclipse. But the Eclipse Jeez. is the only one. That's um, a cold blast just yeah, coming out of the neck. The right. only um, venue that, that we've actually had physical evidence in, and that was on our first visit. This one here is the only venue I've ever been to where a bloke has stood there the only one. and frightened the living daylights out of me. You know, so, you know, maybe I'm right. Maybe these um, venues are all overdone and the spirit think, oh God, not another team. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So maybe we need these new exclusive venues. Right. I don't know. No, let's just go through the comments. Eileen wishes that we were in Scotland. Oh, bless you, Eileen. Oh, you soon Thank you for sharing our You'd soon everything. deport us back again. Yeah. Um, Erica Spencer, you said, was quite close to her in Marchwood. What? Yeah, literally round the corner. We're yeah. over by Netley Marsh, Erica. Um, the psychic medium empathic would love to come as well. And Carl said he's never seen you so edgy. Carl, I'm quite calm for passing, aren't I? You know, anybody that knows me knows I'm very grounded and just calm and I just strap it and, you know, yeah, you can jump out in front of me, yeah, big deal. But, yeah, I I've, think that's I've got the willies. <laughs> Was it from me either? <laughs> I think that's your sister watching. But um, is that, yours? Is that Karen? That's my there? sister. Hey, okay. Thanks for joining us. But you know, Karen. I've grown up, Karen. She knows that I'm quite grounded. But yeah, yeah. that that man really. Yeah, it was it was a an active night, and I've got a feeling we're on the edge of something active tonight as well. So you to yeah. be quite yeah. like they're here. They're not happy where here. No. People are laughing at you again. <laughs> or, or maybe they're laughing at me, I don't know. Yeah, look, it's a cruel, keep laughing at me. Give me your love, give me your support and some backbone, please. <laughs> I think probably what she needs is to go around the shop and buy a large bottle of Jack Daniels or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll so, go the other one. So we've got Gemma, we spoke about Gemma. Yeah. We do some fun yeah. with Gemma. Help us with Gemma. Um, um, she's our, I don't like, to, I'm not being rude, Gemma, when I call you our charity. Um, but you know, you, you are a registered charity, so please people support Gemma and don't forget to share this so the more people hear about Gemma, um, the better. So if we can have a few watch parties put out, a few shares, um, that'd be absolutely brilliant. Thank you. And I'm not looking at that anymore because we're running behind over there and it's spooking me out. Um, so as <laughs> I say, let's fight for Gemma and really raise that. Raise that Craig from Canada has said it's quite amusing. <laughs> Mate, honestly, if you'd seen last night live, I have never seen Sally jump. <laughs> and she's turned around and come face to face with this spirit who's looking straight through her with an angry face and she put. Yeah, I did. It was That's quite amusing to me. Yeah, and it's okay. quite amusing in a way that she's still edgy now. Although I know there's someone here because I can feel what's going on around me and it's mm -hmm. like. The temperature drops. There's a, like someone's breathing on the back of your neck. Like all my people come and put me hood up. It just keeps probably blasting with us, and there is no air conditioning around us at all. Funny, we just the other thing I want to say before we move on, yeah. um, the Leem is a beautiful hotel. The view from these windows is straight across that water. Um, if ever you're coming to Weymouth <laughs> and you want to, to stay anywhere, I would highly mm. recommend this. I thought we were going to have another one then, mate. Or if you just if you <laughs> want to come and use one of these rooms just to you know feel the energy around and do your own thing if you're a paranormal, I'd, I'd highly recommend this. What are you laughing at? Mix just remembered about the demonic smell last night. Oh God, no, shush. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny, wasn't it? I thought nobody would know this, but Bob, no, he has to make a show of it. Uh, I mean, it it was to be honest, we weren't thinking of going live or what we were going to do, but just quick snippets around the hotel. But as soon as we put the camera on, and the um, no, That's before we put the camera on, it just connected. Yeah. Hello, Scott. How are you, my friend? And the smell was Bob. No, it wasn't. 
Unfortunately, I'm celiac and I've been eating gluten. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly wasn't me. It's celiac, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I've walked into a wall of it, mate. You... <laughs> I've, I thought sack packings was real for a minute. I honestly thought Bob would be polite enough not to say anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> really? Yes. No. I thought, we're going live. He won't say anything. Oh, he yes, he will. I know it's because he's been, he knows it's because he's been force feeding me gluten here. That's and, um, yeah, it's sort of backfired. <laughs> no, it's backfired. I don't know if it backfired. <laughs> it was lucky it was upstairs and not down here because it could have been something out. Go on, better. It seemed to spread through the room, didn't it? Yeah. So, what else we got on our chat of thing? Is there any questions or anything? Has anyone at home been been stayed here in the Lean Hotel? Did you have any experiences? To be honest, I, I, yeah, I'm sure some people would have. A lot of people tend to head a bit further down into the town. That's weird. Enough. But the strange thing is, here. like, it's like I said to you, I used to come here a lot with my dad when I was a child. He used to do coach trips for his works and things. And we pull into the coach station, and I swear to God, we come in one day, it was raining on a Sunday. Coach trip, you don't cancel them, do you? There's got 52 people from his works, with, you know, all with their kids and everything else. So we come anyway, and we come off the coach, walk down the road about, it felt like about 30 yards, straight in a pub, and had Sunday dinner. And I swear, that pub is just around the corner from here. We walk past it today, didn't we? Walk past it. Might be a different name to what it was then, but it just looks the same. So in my my memory from my childhood, that is the pub. But, uh, yeah. You know, as I said to you, there's a light going off just onto the side here, which we're going to be investigating when we go live. And it's going to be lifted. It's going on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. And it's going quite fast for a sensor. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I don't know if it's faulty, and I will go out and debunk it before I'm going to say it's paranormal. Cause it could yeah, be. we'll do that on the could second part, and that. Yeah. Um, because we know the light on the other one. just behind me then. I don't know if anybody heard that. The light on the, because um, we've got a door here, which is, is the one that's going off and I'm watching at the moment. And it just behind us, just to the side of the bar, is another door. And that one does flash if it goes off. Um, it's obviously got a flashing unit problem or something. But um, as I say, this one over here, there's nothing to set these off. Oh, and we saw a cat at the top of the stairs. Didn't we? Ricky Boymore, isn't he one of them, the mediums on the circuit? I forgot what that was then. Ricky Boymore, yeah. Yeah, that's the hotel cat. Um, yeah, so if anyone's been to Weymouth and actually stay in this hotel, let us know. Um, you can also let us know if you saw anything. And as I say, if you fancy a paranormal night away, book here. Well, I only said something stopped, but I can't, I don't know what stopped. What uh, stopped? I don't know. Anyway, um, so Gemma Lowry, we spoke about that, we spoke about the weekend. Let's speak about what we've got coming up. Um, we've been quite busy. I mean, right, yeah. I mean, I must put, I'm starting to feel a bit frazzled at the moment. As a team, you just went off and they turned you later. Okay, so that's what's happened. The, 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 yeah, okay. We are on, <coughs> to be fair, we're um, tuned into the hotel free Wi-Fi, so I don't know how good it is. Some people have had start, I mean Debbie's in Southampton, she's had no problem, yeah, yeah. Erica's in Marchwood, she's had a problem, I, Eileen's in Scotland, she's had a problem. Sometimes so. it's the distance between us rather than... And what's going on in and in Canada, they're perfect. So, hey. yeah, it's strange, isn't it? So, so, so where are you all from then? We've got Canada. Yeah, Craig, you know Craig. He's spoke to Craig a few times from Canada. He's late shore power. Who else is watching us from a distance? That's really interesting, isn't it? See yeah. where people are actually coming in from. Who's interested yeah. in um, this? So, yeah, anyway, our investigations have picked up and it's great. It's really it's nice. But to be fair, this is the first time in what, a year? or more, that it's just been me and Sally sitting down and actually investigating, because normally we're so busy running the well, night yeah, or we don't have time looking after it. other people that we don't actually get to investigate. And there's something going on, because look, something going on there, yeah. and now it's gone off again. So we are picking up something on the camera, but I don't know what it's saying because it's too far away. Um, 
So not only have we, Craig don't even say that, because if I put that with Sally, she's going to um, go mental. <gasps> what? You've just seen something behind me, haven't you? No, he said, what's that behind you? I think that might be a joke. Oh, the temperature keeps going. Yeah, it does. Right, so here's what we've got coming up next month. Hopefully, at the beginning of March, we'll be down here with the team. Um, once we. Uh... Hi, was with you last night. Loved it. From Ireland. Donegal and Ireland. Hi. Donegal and Ireland. Yeah, lovely to see you, mate. And I'm sure you've got. Just as haunted, no, more haunted Thank places you. than here. Uh, Marie McMenamin. Hi, I'm Marie. Thanks for joining us. I want to come to Ireland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want her to go to Ireland as well. <laughs> but she won't oh, go. I, I even said I'd pay for a ticket, but she still won't go. My blooming wood. He's lying now, I would. <laughs> um, right. So at the beginning of the March. I'm just going to biscuit out because it's a bit cold. Yeah, it's going to be a bit noisy this bit. Come to gluten. <laughs> so, yeah, so in a minute, there'll be more demands now. Oh. Caroline's from Winchester, this is great. Um, Hi, Caroline. Anyway, I will get here the 7th of March. We're hoping to be back here. Don't forget the people in Winchester, the people in Marchwood, the people from Southampton on the 14th of March, all day at the Grandman's Theatre, which is in Kent Street in South Sea. Yeah. The, there's a spiritual market, followed by a young lady doing some singing, followed by a medium medley, so that's four top class mediums all coming to you from different parts of the country, so not well known around here to be fair, but they should be. And then in the evening we're doing a paranormal investigation. Unfortunately the paranormal investigation is sold out, but if you phone Grandin's Theatre you can still buy tickets for the rest of it. Yeah. Um, people, that, people that want to sell things, I think if you get in touch with Richard, um, his email address is uh, info at spiritual productions, I think it's dot com. And I've just heard some creaky floorboards over there. Okay. Yeah. Or is it wind banging something? Excuse me? That's wind banging yeah. the door. Okay, <coughs> floorboards. Yeah, it's an all-day... Yeah, it's an all-day um, thing. If you want the information, either ring Groundlands or uh, email Richard. Info at Spiritual Productions. Is it .com or .co.uk? I reckon, I reckon okay. Richard will put that up in the yeah. minute. Um, it's going to be an all-day. It's to support Groundlands, Groundlands the theatre, who support Keep It Real. So Then, on Friday the 27th, Relating to the eclipse and the English Civil War is the anniversary of the Battle of Cheriton. Um, Maria, I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, it's the Battle of Cheriton, so we're going to go up there with the reenactors and hopefully do a bit of filming because they claim there's a lot of activity around that battlefield. Um, a lot of negative energy, a lot of positive energy. Some parts that people that are dressed one way just don't seem to be able to go. Uh, yeah, we can hear them streets, strange creaky noises. We think it might be the wind outside blowing the door, we, but I haven't heard it before, but I'll, I'll have to go and check that out. And then on the 28th, we've got Fort Whitley up on Portsdown Hill. The people that want to come with us and they're local, Fort Whitley is an ideal start, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a bit cold. It never fails to, to produce um, something that no. evening. But the best bit about that, once the old night's over, you're freezing cold, you just drive across the road, get yourself a big fat burger and a coffee from the... You know, for from the minute, I thought you were going to say big fat bird. I really did think you were going to come out well, of that. I know what your mouth is like. Of course, our meals well known for dogging, but I'm not saying nothing. Um, yeah, Fort Whitley, you can um, book through us or go to our website. Um, yeah, I think it's doors, mate. I think it's a bit of wind outside. Yeah, there's still places available from Fort Whitley. Um, anyone that doesn't know how Keep It Real Paranormal events actually do. Erica, there's a chance for you to come out. You've done Fort Whitley. We are there on, on the 28th. We work spiritually and um, scientifically. So we come from both sides, hence... How much is that one? It's quite cheap, isn't it? 25, yeah. No, it's not 25. It's about, 35. It's about 32, 35. I don't know. It's um, quite cheap, Erica. About 35 pounds. We'll yeah. say that. It might, that might even be cheaper than that. No working that. 
but we do work, we have working mediums there which are tried and tested, so I keep it real, um, and we also have our, our um, experienced team leaders with equipment, and of course, we'll be there. So um, if you're interested in oh, that, have a look off, on, on the website. Um, as I said, I do know there's places still available there, so um, I wouldn't hang around too long if you do really want to join us that night. Yeah. Any more? I bet that's enough. It never, but does, it never fails, does it, Fort Whitley? You know. No. Do you know what? I, I I beg to differ. I find Fort Whitley is either really responsive, really active, or completely nothing there. That actually sounds to me now like really, really heavy rain. I can't see the weather, but that sounds like heavy rain battering the doors or something. Craig, welcome. Um, yeah, so that's March. We've got plenty going on in March. Have we got anything else to talk about, or do you want to whack into an investigation? I don't think you'll be going outside for a fag. No, that's fine. I don't know. I don't know. It is, it's all it's rain. I can hear it all the way around just now. It really is a heavy downpour for me. All is here. Um, therefore, um, Groundlin, as I say, as Bob just said, we'll be there doing an investigation which will be coming out live. So if you can't make it to there, we will be coming out live that night. We'll People can't make it there, there's no free. tickets. People that haven't got tickets, <laughs> uh -huh. um, yeah. please. Simon. Um, they're not pleased. We're coming out live that much. Shush, you're putting me right off now. What with the lights and the rain and everything and that bloke that'd be out there. <laughs> right. We'd be out live that night on Spiritual Productions and TV. Steve Stevie. I'm not gonna speak now, that's it. I'm doing doing really well if you start being Spiritual Productions T V Facebook page is where we'll be coming live from that night. That's um, what it was, mate. If you're not watching us from that page tonight, Pop over there and um, hit the like button, then you'll see every time we go live. Um, so, right, Andy Duncan's been on. He said Fort Whitley's an amazing place. He's picked up some we had the good evidence before that he, was his as he comes yeah. as a guest, and now he's come as he's a team leader, yeah, yeah. doing very well. Um, well your ears better, Andy. We want you back. Yeah, where you been? I hope you can hear me with your bad ear. Yeah, send love to Andy. Give him lots of hearts because Andy's got really serious ear infection and uh, you know that's nasty, isn't it? I don't know. I didn't look in there. No, God bless him. Hope you're getting well, Andy. We want you back soon. We miss you, Andy. No, I see. I'm not allowed to say that. No. No. So um, as we say, you know what the time is. Uh, it doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter. No. Let's, let's keep going until yeah. we're done, and then we'll move on and do yeah. a bit do more a bit of an investigation. investigation. Um, Craig said last night was really active. Now, I will ask you one question on last night, and I've been out with you investigating for many years now. On a scale of one to Ooh. one to ten, where would you put last night's activity? Thirteen. Personally, I was really shocked at the activity here yesterday. Really shocked. I was <laughs> not expecting it. Craig says he can fix wind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, Debbie says it's 22.54, so we've got half an hour to go. Oh, so. cool. Right. All right. So now we've finished the things we talk about, do you want to try and encourage the young man back? Thinking like the only one man who was fully but yes he could be. You know, it's what I say, you know, I don't believe there is a bad spirit. You know, he came through and he had exactly the same energy as he would have had in his day when he was here. So, you know, fair play to the man. Thank you, Caroline, for sending healing to Andy. Oh, thank you. Andy Vic really needs it this bad here. Yeah. That's nasty. And he says he can hear Vicky is sat with me. Is she doing sign language at him? She's just Even giving, Vicky, she's just giving me my drops. Yeah, pear drops. I bet, you, <laughs> I bet you're eating the sweets, mate, aren't you? Uh, oh. My drops and meds. 
I miss you guys. See you next time. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, Andy, while you've got Vicky sat next to you, you might want to push this one, mate, and maybe buy us some flowers tomorrow. We're hoping for a night away in Weymouth. Pretty soon. Be nice to her. Give her chocolates. Give her a massage. <laughs> buy her some flowers. Look after the kids one evening. Rubber feet. Buy her a special supper. As Sally says, rubber feet. <laughs> you need to get on this one, my friend. This is good. Well, I'm going to comment from spiritual seduction side yet. Um, so split screen, won't we? With spiritual seductions, I, I don't know because I'm looking at this. I haven't seen any. Um, but then I don't know who's on there. I don't know who his guests are. And right, well, as I sit here munching my biscuits and the communication down here, it's definitely a man zone. I'm going to hand it over to Bob from this. I can't see that. Is. Anyway. Yeah. Right. If the spirits that were here last night can get over the sound of Sally cracking and munching her biscuits. <laughs> I'm hungry. So you probably won't be able to hear anything. But if there are any spirits here with us tonight, please make a sound. The, for the people that are watching tonight that didn't see what happened last night, please repeat what you've done. What? Yeah, stand in front of Sally, make her jump, make people at home laugh, and then we'll do the cat ball experiment, and then we will leave. This is what we done yesterday. We made you the promise. What? Vicky said that Andy's allowed to come if he buys her a good handbag. <laughs> Get in there, Andy. <laughs> That'd be a, truck, that'd be a show, trip to the pound shop. That'll be that one sorted. They do some <laughs> nice carrier bags there. Um, so anyway, the male that was here last night, please step forward again. Make a noise. Flash one of these lights. There's a cat ball that you made go off yesterday. Where's the other one? On the bar. Or the one on the bar. I'll probably won't be able to see that if that goes off. Well, we tested it. And... Just come forward. I know we have some rain. It sounds like a male voice then. Yeah. Like we say at home, if you're with us on this, if you see anything, hear anything, sense anything, message it up whilst watching for it to come through, okay? Now I've just gone all whirly and dizzy. That's a shame. Go on. I was going to get you to walk down there. <laughs> I, 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 hope, I hope Sally has worn bicycle clips tonight <laughs> on, on the legs of her trousers. Anyway, can I come forward, please? The spirits that are here, please come forward. I am aware of an energy that is in this zone. The zone where we were yesterday. No, a little bit further up top, by the bar. Um, I'm just trying to pick up. I know that I need to say Al. Oh God, the cat was going on. Okay. And I need to say Albert. I'm um, just gonna. Oh, I can't show you with that phone. No, don't. We'll do an investigation in a little bit. No, there for that light. A big kitchen light was going on. That wasn't their brand. Has it? No. Guys, I'm just going to turn this round. Hold on. Let me just wait there. These are security lights. They only come on with motion. That has been off all night. Behind it, been watching, the, one behind that. the one behind it yeah. is the kitchen. Yeah. Ah, she's shitting her pants. Go off. Out there now, the kitchen light has gone off. So that's very, very, very. That is strange, people. That is strange. We ask people to come forward. That light's come on. Yeah, because there's one that I've been watching. The light that I have been watching behind the 
play two flips one. Can you send me a list of box please? Right. Don't be saying he's getting in closer, Craig says he's agreeing. Um, I have no idea what's setting that off. We did ask them to come forward and it looks like they are. Um, I'm now hearing creeps out there. But as I say, the only thing out there is the lift, as you've seen. I can see it now on this screen here. I just see me in there, that made the me... The light's gone off. Right, the light's gone off. So now, Sally will keep an eye on that, obviously. Turn that round so I can watch that and take it to the phone. No, I'm not. I was going to see us. Well, they're not important, are they? Mick's gone to see his modem. Right, Charlie's watching. Right, so we're in here, literally, this hotel... The further away light through that door where she's... It's turned off on. again now, Craig. It's just turned off now. The back uh, light's come on. Okay. So the one in the kitchen has now gone on. The one where I showed you it was off has now come back on. The whole one is still in darkness. Okay, so we're calling the spirits again that are here. On this table, right there, that is a cat ball that you set off yesterday. There's one there, there's one on the bar. If you can set them off. Are you talking about my left shoulder? Okay, uh, this hand. I have been noticing that. Um, apparently, Gwendolyn says that the spirit is standing. Okay. Hold on, Craig. I don't want to go too close, but there you are. That's it in darkness. You can see right outside in the kitchen is off, and the one in the hallway is off. Okay, they're, they're run by sensor. There you go. Yeah, so everyone's saying there's been a shadow behind my left shoulder. I thought I saw movement there, but I wasn't that's sure. That's when I said to you, that's where they are. Yeah. <clears throat> Can you come forward towards this little gadget with the green light, please? Craig is saying that he's seen it move in shadow. Um, this is a very, very strong male energy. I keep looking at that camera. I should be looking at that camera. Apologies. But it's a very, very strong energy down here. Anything that Craig's saying now, the shadow's gone. Well, maybe it went out that way, mate, because something set that light off. Yeah. Um, this is an, an amazing venue. This is uh, there ain't many places I go to, certainly not to see Sally popping up out. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I can also see a flash of light here. I don't know yeah. that yet. Uh, da, 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 da. I've got to stop looking at that one because as I move my arms like this, while I'm, I'm catching it in the corner of my eye there and I can see moving. Ooh. Yeah. See, it's got me on edge now. It was Sally. <coughs> it was Sally just now, and I've just seen a shadow. Over there this. it goes, lights on. Furthest away, the kitchen lights just come back on. Okay, well, the kitchen movement detector that we were on about just now, that's come back on. Um, Eileen, where have you been? Have we got any EVPs? We haven't got any EVPs, mate. We're going to try them tonight. Last night we worked purely with. The spirit box, we use the one with out white noise. We've also got the FP7 here, and we've done it by filming. We were only going to do a little bit of filming, Pauline, and then it just went mad. So we ended up staying here. Uh, someone in doorway, right hand side behind block. This one. I keep seeing some movement down there. I don't know what it is. Um, uh, we've, we've had um Upstairs in the reception, we have our night camera going all night, um, which reacts to movement. And tonight, we're going to leave it down here. 
Um, obviously, we can't check it till we get back to our um, computer, but we will be going through it to get you on the page. If anything's been picked up on those notes, um, we'll be putting them up on the page. I mean, everyone is picking up on someone looking through that bottom doorway. Well, is that I, the one where the light flashes? Yeah, so that's I, where I'm watching because it's giving me the suit that, that door there. Excuse me, I'm just resting here with me up to keep talking temperature and it's getting a bit much. There is a message from Sam, but I can't open it because yeah. Sam, I'll read your message after that. <coughs> Says there's a frozen shoulder. It's not doing me any favour to keep talking the temperature on me like that. Nice. So let's go back into this again because we've asked for spirit interaction. We certainly seem to be getting it. Go over by myself, where, mate? If I go over from the south, see, I'm going to set off the motion detector outside the room and it's a flashing light. So I'll leave that one for now. Um, it's actually, that's a, a bulb, the bulb's going wrong, so it keeps flashing. And I wonder if it's because it's so dark, do you know what I mean? It's uh, that doorway, I mean. I don't know, I keep getting attracted to it. Um, I keep looking at it, expecting somebody to come through there. And he's saying he's sent to the young lady. And if you're sent to the young lady, fine, I'm not disputing that. But the main presence down here is a male, is a very domineering male. Yeah. Right. I'm going to go back to cooling out. Kitchen lights just come back on. Okay. So the kitchen light right out has gone back on. And as I said, I'm going to call that, I have gone completely covered in goosebumps again. Can you set one of the cat balls off for us, please? If you wish us to leave. The K2's flashing. Okay. So the K2's going off on the table right behind me. I can't see it in the camera, but hopefully you can at home. I can't bring it any nearer because because we're going live, the Wi-Fi set it off, so that, that is the nearest one to get it. So I'll keep you updated if you can't actually see it. The Going to flash from starter point up to and back down again. So, if, uh, if you would like us to go back <coughs> upstairs, and I'm quite happy to go upstairs and we'll fill so up there. Um, please do something. Do you leave in bed? If you wish us to leave, can you make one of the cat balls go off? There's one on the bar. It's these little round ones like this. You worked them last night. There's one on the bar or there's one here. If you want us to leave this area, please set off one of the cat balls. Sam, do you know what? It feels quite tense. Yourself. It feels like you're like, hmm? You're getting ready to get out that fire exit, isn't you? No, no. No. <laughs> I am. Uh, I ain't going out in the rain and I ain't got the key to get back in. We can go out the fire exit. <laughs> <laughs> can you put the cat over by the door? Go on then. Can you take that one? Right. Leave the one on the bar, but take that one on the table across there. But then like, the thing is, we won't be able to see if it goes off. There's no way of, it's not going to light up the bar. Um, yeah, we've got got a sensor light, but then if anyone goes near that door, the light just the other side, who is it? Craig. Craig. The light just the other side of the door we're talking about um, will go off and you'll see a flashing, which is a, the sensor light from outside. Um, if we put the cat ball there, we won't be able to see it from over here. Well, I need Murray. Why am I thinking of the shining? <laughs> here <laughs> is Jordy. Yeah. No, um, anyway, Craig, there is a sensor lock just outside that door. Yeah, As you've seen with these two out here, these are both off now. One on the stairs is a flasher. It's got a bad bulb too. If that goes off, you're going to know about it. Um, yeah. Gwendolyn says it has an ominous feeling. No, I know. You know what? I'll be quite honest. It does feel quite tense in here. It feels like you're waiting to something to kick off. Yeah. And being the only two in the room and in the whole hotel. That's it a bit makes of... you feel like easy prey, doesn't it? Nah, easy. Uh, easy prey, yeah, if you wish. But I don't feel like when we left here yesterday and went back upstairs, 
it eased off. I'm aware that there's been a stabbing down here. There's right. somebody who's been stabbed either inside this building or just outside. There's somebody who's been stabbed in the back. Um, and I don't mean that a lot of um, psychological, um, you know, it's a, it's a physical stabbing in the back. Someone's been stabbed in the back. Have you got it's taken a, a, a time with that? Hey? Have you got a time period? Because it's been up along, uh, and to be fair, stabbing's been around forever. Yeah, I was going to say, this is just by my spine, it's gone straight in, it's taken my life, and I'm just trying to, I feel that we are, um, I'm trying to get them to come forward and communicate a little bit more, I've got the difficulty of it, um, we need the communication. The person that's talking to me, for the people at home, because they can't hear you, um, could you flash that ball on the table, just give it a knock. Um, where are we going, where are we going, where are we going? Something about... Something about being in. Where are we going? I know I'm a young man. I'm not. I'm not a teenager. I'm in my twenties. He's taking me up to the latter part of twenties and just dipping over into the thirties. He's not given me an exact. Yes, he has. He's talking about twenty-seven. So I'm going to take it twenty-seven years of age. He is a a brainless person. Um, what, what year are you? What's your name? Tell me your name. He's talking of a Paul. I don't feel that's his name. I, I'm, he's... Yeah, I think. He's taking 1960s. Um, he's talking about the early part of 1960s. I want to go to um, 1963, 1964. So that's that's something that happened here and I know it's it's happened behind me and it's connected to this room so it could be just the other side of this wall because he's not showing me it in here. Um, as I say, can you show us on the uh, ball on the table please? Um, can you check that? Yeah, it's there, isn't it? Or um, K2 here, or go near one of the trigger objects that, that, yeah, will, make a, that will make a sound please. Just to show people at home that you're here. Um, Where are the sailors? Uh, yeah, I guess there would have been sailors when they learned. Uh, Debbie said, What was that bang? Don't know. It's all about diamonds. Yeah. Oh. I'm not letting out a stream. Anyone I think Sally touched me. Can you um, come in and draw your energy? Come on, there's a strong spiritual sense around here. Please come forward. The energy in this room really is electric. Yeah, it's up. Someone said it was on the edge. They're waiting for something to happen. And that is exactly how it feels here. It is like all the time. There's so many things going on. These motion detector lights going off. There's an absolutely no reason that for that to go off. No reason at all. Um, but I will say that most of this feeling is downstairs. When you're upstairs, it feels like they're hustling and bustling and doing the housework, and it's the hotel and it's the guests, it's the life of the the house itself, this feels like a little I'm going to tuck away a little bit and I'm also going to move that box out of your way because I'm seeing lights over here where I was at and I'm blocking them from here. Um, so upstairs, completely different feel to what's down here. Yeah, definitely. Upstairs the same warm and welcoming. You're aware they're there, you can hear them moving around, but it doesn't feel like there's any hostility from them, does there? Sally, uh, Vicky just said 63 and you said it as well. Mm. That's freaky. Anyway. So we're still waiting. I feel we're, we're I think his name's Paul. Is it Paul William? One time he like Paul Wilson. He's saying Paul Wilson. I think William was okay. there. He's saying Paul Wilson. Um, 
Okay. Can you come in and um, still join the G out? There's a little ball on the table. Can you make that flash for us, please? You know, I really feel like I need to just double check with the owner about these lights because there's no reason. They're motion detectors, they don't come on. And I know when we were sat in the reception yesterday and we were talking about coming down here, um, the light went on. The light went on on the stairways just out of that door where you were looking, Greg. And th there was nobody there. But as we were looking at the glass, it looked like there was a cat or something down the stairs, didn't it? And one of the mediums, which is watching tonight, and one of the guests who was just looking, actually said, have you found the house cat? Didn't he? Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I really don't know. Leem Hotel, Nicky. Um, save your pennies, we're coming back here very soon to do an investigation, mate. I, I promise you, I'm not going to be the only one to sit here and feel this. No, no, no. And I feel that every team that comes down here will have to have a female because this energy here is a strong male that doesn't like women being in this area or the women that are here are here to be used. The light's on. Okay. The light to us by the lift has gone back on. Right. Don't you talk about them lights and the, and the cat? I'm just moving here just to show you. There you go. It's come back on again. And the only thing there is the lift. Okay? So that what you're watching up there, that's just the lift area. There's nothing there. And as we're talking about these um, motion detectors, I don't know. I get a red pot. Do you want to put it out there? Why don't you chuck the radio on it? I was going to say, if we carry on with you doing a little bit of an investigation down here, and then move it up there for when we go live again, mm -hmm. I'll let the owner go and get the red pot, and we'll put that there to see if it goes off each time that light comes on. What do you think? When you say, explain what you mean. Because you've just said, I'll go and get a few things, and then when we go live, we are live. No, I mean on the investigation, when we go off for 10 minutes and then come back for another one. If I get the REM pod from behind the bar... So what are you doing now? You're setting up now, ready, so we'll we'll have a quick break, and then we'll come back. We're before we move up, before we have to break. So if I get the REM pod, you, you can go for it <laughs> and put it there, so we'll see when that light goes off, does the REM pod fire at the same time. Yeah? She's always getting me to work, walk in the dark areas. She's a little bit scared. I'm not Honestly, God, I don't know you're watching now, Rob. Right, the people from the Keep It Real team, you have to come here. Can I see the light in the hallway go off? I can see the light on the ceiling go off. Yeah. They're telling me that will fire off anyone going through that door. Okay. So that's why we did put a cat ball there. You can't miss that, can you? Can you take it down? No, it's not off. I have nobody over there. <laughs> but you can see that flashing over there now. How long does it take to go off? When you walk, put it down and walk away from it. So if that light that's flashing now, you can see it over there. If anybody was to go near that spooky door over there, that's what you would see. So we don't need the trigger objects over there. That's good enough. Right, Bob's been out there and put the rim pod in where right, the lift is. Right, listen, we're set up. I'll tell you what I might do. I might even leave the camera running. So people watch it. So you watch. Out we're going to go out of the space. We're going to have a wee. Say I have a fag. Keep watching. There's lights there. I might even set up the infrared later. The thing is... Um, I'm watching that and there's you behind it. Fucking bar again, isn't it? Frighten you, did it? No, Frighten you, did it? <laughs> no, I didn't. I just saw a, a reaction. Um, because when we're not here, there may be things that happen. Um, hence why we left the camera upstairs running in for red all night. Um, so, uh, Nicky, you when you say we're looking cold, yeah. Five room hotel. 
and we're the only people in here. So the only heaters that are on that are actually in our room. Yeah, it's not worth putting the whole hotel on just for us um, to do the investigation. So, but there are several objects on the way round. You've just seen the lights flash there, which you'll see as we leave. Right, the kitchen light is on, back out there again. But the one the lift light. in the lift light has gone off. So if that goes off while we're having a fight, you, if you hear that REM pod go off, then something's happened there. In there. Um, You'll see a light go off at the back bar if anything triggers that off. Put the cap all up on that bar. As or well, just light. over my shoulder there, you'll see a flashy, a flashy light. That's the true, um, the movement detector light outside. It's got a dodgy bulb. We've also um, got a uh, uh, K2. K2. K2 type we'll charge. Sounds like water drip. We've also got a K2 on the table here behind us, which has got an alarm on it. We've got a K2 here, which you should be able to see the lights flash on it. So, like I said last night, BRI, BRE is while we're away. Um, you want to fill up what I'm doing yeah, here? So, so we can see what's going on. Um, if people, well, it's like they're saying, it's kept by the mic's coming out to play. So see if that happens. Update us, put it on the messages for us. It, we can't go back and read them all tonight then we will um, know where to um, mark the filming tonight to, to clip those bits out. Um, there's the drink. When we come back down, so, we do some spirit box down here as well. Right. Kitchen lights on. Kitchen lights back on. Very jumpy, Sally. Take, we're going to take 10. Keep watching, and we'll see what happens when we come back. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Alright, see you in a bit. No, as I say, it. as we leave, you will see that light flash in that corner. As we come back, you'll see it again, so you know we're on our way. If you don't see us appear, like, see it go now, that's a good box over there. And you'll see that, as I say, as we return. But if you see that flash and where we're not here, that is not us. We are another floor up. Right. So we'll see you soon. Yeah? What?
Okay, oh, that's still sort of goes bumpy. Anybody want to come forward and say hello? Right, people, right, so we've had fags, we've had a wee. Have we missed anything? Um, yeah. On the front what? Heard a voice shout out, it could have said Bob. Oh, it could have been Bob. What do you want now? And then Andy said, I thought I heard someone say Bob. Uh, Nikki, the noise you can hear is probably the fridge. Uh, Craig said something about the door, shadow by the door. And Caroline said, what's that? It's me. What do you mean, Caroline, what's that? Sally's just sitting up now. We're setting up an infrared camera. Which we're going to leave running all night. So one of the cam trails. Um, the light movement. in the kitchen's just come back on again. Take photographs and video if there's movement down here. So the cam trail is again motion censored. It will go off if something moves. Well, I'm going to put it in a position that it catches the majority of this place. Uh, let's see if I'll just see if there's anything else out there. Heard a voice, but it could have been me. Can you hear someone breathing heavy? Yeah. Not sure if that was them though. Footsteps. Wait, did all this happen once I saw that noise flashing? behind you. How long are you on for? We'll probably start on about another eight, eight hour or so. Do you reckon? Yeah. Half yeah. an hour here, and then we're going to move floors. Yeah, so you heard what Sally said. We'll do another half hour on this one and then we'll shoot upstairs. Right, the infrared hopefully is going to catch everything in the radius where we're having activity. So can I ask again if there's anybody here that would like to communicate with us before we move floors to flash the cat balls or set off one of the alarms that you're aware are here. So I've got one on the table here. So anyway. The only, the idea, oh, now I've got the red light flash out before over there, I wonder what the hell it was. I've got one here, if you come near this one, it will make a sound, it won't harm you in any way. At the bar, you've got the cat ball there, you've got a light on the other end of it, so if you go towards those, we'll know that you're there. It's only so that people at home can see. Outside, as you know, if you go near that door, the light will flash. Here, I've got a K2. All that will happen is the lights will move along here, it won't harm you in any way. And out there, um, towards the kitchen, where you keep hovering around there, you've got a thing on the floor that will just make a sound, and you know how to use the lights because we've witnessed that so far. So, is there anyone here that would like to draw our attention to them? Um, and do one of those things to let us know that you're here. Let me move right. back so you can see past it. Nikki James has said that this place has given her the creeps. She, she never, bloody creeps she never has that while she's looking at home. See, Nikki's a prime example of how calm I am. And tonight, and last night. Nikki, I, I don't know if you watched calm. last night and saw how edgy, or what happened to Sally last night, and why she's quite so edgy today. Um, the movement detector in the kitchen has come on again, and I'm, you know, that, that's so frequent. There's either a, a rat or something out there, or that is paranormal. We do need to have a look at that. Rat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A rat, a cat, a bat, a hat, it could be anything. <laughs> uh, that was just the first thing that came to mind. It could be a goldfish, for all I know. But, um, yeah. Can we just underline there are no rats? <laughs> okay, there's no rats. It was the wrong, anyone takes you serious. the wrong choice of word. Um, yeah, so we let's have, just We stop. went upstairs, and as we walk up the stairs, we go past a lot of the lights that are triggered by movement. And they worked perfectly all right on the way up, and on the way back down, they didn't want to come on. Well, one, one of them especially, especially we went straight into the dark bar. Uh, where's last night? But yeah, I can feel it. Um, now, one of the things... Don't you say in the comments, because I don't know who we're talking to. You just yeah, Debbie Ward. Yeah, yeah, I am reading. Um, Nikki missed it. Yeah, that's because you were out on the beer. We've asked Spiritual Productions if they clip that bit out so we can put that out on its own. Um, so hopefully you'll all see that um, when we put that up. Nikki, if you get time tomorrow night, I would suggest you sit and watch all of it. Yeah, it, it looks amazing. Um, yeah. Right. One of the suggestions before we shut down for a wee was that you take charge of a space. Sorry? You. What? Take charge of a space and see if there's a Who reaction. Who suggested that? Thanks very much, whoever that was. 
I'm not going to tell you now in case you kill them. Yeah, I was going to say, because as I keep around there and say thank you very much, I might just come on out and look at it again. Well, my suggestion was, I want to sit here nice and safe and put on the um, spirit box. Where am I going to take a safe to? They want them to come out on me, don't they? Well, there's a woman behind your right shoulder, Bob. Looks like a bit blurry. Got the camera. The guest was saying that you're seeing a saber. Uh, they're seeing a saber by Sally. He wants to speak. I think someone's basically trying to get you to entice the um, spirit here for you trying to take an area. Thanks guys. <laughs> well, first of all, we'll just have a listen to the spirit box, shall we? <laughs> um, I'll take it you're the person that didn't watch last night, I wouldn't be so cruel. Right, spirit box, here we come, see if they want to talk to us. Last night we put the spirit box on the quiet one. Not any communication through that spirit box at all, is there? Not that many, no. So we'll give it a worry, I'll take it away from you a little bit because it's on speaker, I've got no volume control on this, it's just that we haven't got the white noise. So I'm going to move it across the room a little bit. And right, uh, for the spirits that are in this room, Sally is just putting together a radio. That radio will allow you to speak to us. There's no white noise, you don't yeah. need it. Just use the radio waves to get words out. But let no other spirit stop you talking to us if that is what you want to do. If not, we will be upstairs within half an hour. Sally, he's peeked around the um, side, right. Use your powers, Sally. Sally, use your spooky powers. Can everyone hear this at home? Yeah. Too far away. Listen, if I can hear it clear, everyone can hear it give clear. Give me thumbs up, give me the hearts if you can hear that box or I can hope that I've not put it too far away from you. Can everybody hear it? Thumbs up. Let me know you can hear that okay. Hear that text, I don't um, need to bring it any closer to you that you can actually hear that at home. All you'll hear at the moment is a hiss here and there. Um, if there's any spirit in this room that wants to communicate through that box, please give us a shout out hello. My name is Sally, Bob is also in the room as you already know, so you can shout one of our names if you wish, or you can shout out your own name. Thumbs up in their hearts. Come on, you tight lot. Give us some thumbs oh, up. Oh no, they've been going up on there. They ain't got over there yet. All oh, right, okay. Look, see, see. Come no, on, being really up. brave for you lot. Give me some heart. Give me some courage here. This is called Jumpy Sal. Make all the jumpy sound. You know that therapy after this one. You know that, don't you? So is anybody here? Like, so will I if you there? do what you did upstairs last night. Hello. You can show yourself if you wish. Can someone at home do me a favour? That's it, that's it, that's just exactly what I needed. What? These little red hearts, right? I didn't see it come up. Really? And, that's it. and then they fade away like that. And keep I'm them like, coming, keep them coming. I feel brave knowing all you were behind me there and watching and um, with us. Yeah, but all, all I saw was a little red light disappearing. Right? It's all come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah look, see that one coming. on the end, right? See how it goes small and then disappears. That's yeah. what I saw. Like it was flying away from you, a red light. Anyway. Right. If we get a mass of red hearts up, wows and fingers, I'll go up the other end by the bar, okay, and see if they come out and speak to me. You've got to support me. Give us a support. Yeah, they're coming. There you go. Off you go then. How many have I got? I've nope. got a thousand. Yeah. 
thousand twenty. Someone's putting them all up, right? But they're all hearted out, so they're not actually. Yeah, I was going to say, do be careful. If you put up too many hearts, they keep hitting it. You'll get heart blocked. So you just have to go to the front. Oh, side, mate, I don't want to bloody heart block. <sighs> okay, right. I'm on my way. Everybody hear me when I got there. They will, you'll shout loud enough, don't you worry about that. I'm putting you so in. Is there anybody here that wants to come forward and say hello? There's the box on at the moment you can use. You can flash the pack ball on the bar here. Okay, just like that, you can give it a little knock. She's going to shit herself. Can see it. After that, it's not trust me. This part of the bar, we've got a little light here. If you go near that, it'll go off, so we'll go with you here. Would you like to come out and make the most of speaking to us tonight? Come on, people. Make Sally jump for the people at home. Is there anything that you'd like to say to us? Anything you'd like to show to us this evening? You've got the most of us being here. The same box here will make a silent sound if you go near it for us. Which, what's really impressive was the cat ball movement last night, if you could do that. There's one on the bar and there's one on the table over here. I'm afraid saying there's something over there, so you need to go back. What? I'm afraid saying there's something over there. So can you do that for us please? Can you show us that you're here? Oh, throw something. I thought you said throw something. Can you move something? Can you clip the, the things behind the bar? I just heard a little, like a duck quack. Can you... You put me up there. Can you show us your spirit light? Did you not hear it? Can you put, can you show us your spirit light, please? And I am now aware that there is a young sailor here. He is very young as well. I'm only, I'm only about 17, 18, 19, somewhere around there. Very young energy standing by the side of me. Someone said he would put other sailor by here. Yeah, I'm aware he's here now. He's walking with me as I, I walk around. I do believe that he's, he's possibly building his energy at the moment. He's not communicating with me, but he's building the energy. Um, this type of people can understand um, being a spirit medium when you're unnerved, like I am right now. It's really hard to link. Um, my senses are all over the place. Um, I'll ask a question. If uh, the people at home, if, if you're sensing this spirit walking around with Sammy, you, do you feel he's protective? So is there anybody here that would like to come forward and speak with me this evening? Is he putting a protective energy around Sammy? If you don't want me here, because I'm offending you in any way, which I don't mean to do, can you please set off one of the items around the room so we know the temperature's just dropped? Can you set off one of these or shout through the box to me that you do not want me here, please? I'm not saying that I'm going to offend you because I'm not here to do that. What I'm here to do is to prove life after life. There's a male voice. Did you hear it? There is a male voice. I heard someone talking. Yeah. I don't know who that was. So if you need extra help to get louder, please come through this box on the table. If you're trying here, keep trying. Just let us know that you're trying and we will sit and we will wait and we will send our love and energy to you so that you can communicate with us. Um, Andy or Vicky is saying that the sailor is actually keeping you safe. Uh, 
Caroline Cliss is also saying he doesn't feel like a negative energy and he heard the noise and so did Nikki. And Caroline says she also thought she heard that voice. Deborah says it doesn't feel negative, the energy down there with you now. Thanks guys. Saying this this box we've got on at the moment has no radio with it. Um, we've had amazing EVPs, uh, EVP, amazing um, communication with spirit through it. But what I'm going to do just to check before we, we finish on the ground floor is to put the typical SP7 on, which has got the white the noise. The thing is, the one and that it's also got an aerial, so maybe yeah. this would be easier for them to use. I was just thinking, we haven't got an aerial on that one, have we? No. Well, just the swap boxes. Sally. Mick says, portray yourself as a mother figure to the and, um, sailor. Although it seems that other people think he is coming around to talk to you, to protect you. To the left of me, I've just seen a um, there's like white leather seats on the on the benches around, and I've just seen a white flash on that. Um, I don't know what that keeps saying. So that's the SP7 standard. Um, there's that little box there to see if that one is easier for you to use. Sailor that was stood with Sally and who the people at home felt was there to protect her. Please come forward. Try and use that radio. If you can't use the radio, please make one of the lights go off. I don't mean them. Not the ones out there. Look. Oh. It's happened. The second light's one by the lift. The one by the lift. I'm asking for lights. Hey, you see the little box by the bags there? Can you make that go off, please? Then I call the REM pod, but it'll just make a, a, like an alarm sound. It's not there to hurt you. Um, so every time I ask for a log to be set off, they're not using these tonight, they're using that light out there. Right, they reach me. Um, the motion detectors. Yeah. Okay. So then we've got the white noise coming from the um, spirit box, you will hear that REM pod as it goes off. Oh, sure. That's not the part they say now. The lyric on the other side of the window. I'm thinking, right? Can you go near the box? Oh, both lights are on now, kick the lamb, that one. Oh, it's gone off. Okay, that light's gone off. So we'll leave that there. We're not going to ask the lights to go off again for a minute, because that seems to be the one in famous. If you wish to communicate, please give us a sign. 
tell what, mate, the temperature drop in here has just gone mad. It's like sitting in a freezer, isn't it? It's just gone mad, mate. Have so we really don't know what to do now? We know you're here. Do you wish to communicate with us? You really can I have to give us a sign? There's lots of things you can use. Um, to be honest, Mick, Mick is saying, is that an infrared motion? Is that your microwave? I don't know, mate. That's a bit, yeah, that's a bit technical for me. Yeah, that's where you, you put your phones up there. Oh, microwave, isn't Yeah, I don't know. Mick, I have no idea. If you do manage to get down there, mate, you can have a look. Do you know what? It feels like someone has stood right behind me. It's like, oh, you know? Nicky's got to go. Have a good evening and stay safe. So the, the voice box has taken the vibration up. Keeps you added what noise. Caroline's, oh, Caroline's talking to Nicky. Nicky, go to bed. You're getting old, girl. If you are going to bed this early, there's something a bit wrong with you, or... You're scared. Paul's going to be a lucky man. Um, anyway. around the floor. It's a cat or a dog. No, it's a dog. It's too fast for a cat. I don't know. I've seen our cat run a bit fast. No. It's probably around the floor. What, are you, are you talking very that's small, like a duck muscle? Or? Yeah, that's like a giant. Okay. It's a, it's a dark coloured one. Okay, I keep seeing it around the floor. Um, Sorry, I can't see anyone with it. Okay. Well, 
And for those of you who were watching last night, you will know that we had interaction by the capital when we asked the spirit here if they want us to leave to set one of the motion lights off and it chose one of the capitals. And it did it not once but three times. Okay, yeah, and um, Vicky, I'm not sure. Um, so Sally wants to try that again. To be honest, the SB7 I want to turn off because it drives me crazy. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see what if we get a cat ball reaction. Um, to me though, tonight as we've been asking for to trigger a light off, it's been one of these motions you take, you know, we just said that now, on goes the light in the kitchen. It just seems a little weird. It's like they've moved from one energy to another. They're actually going with the the hotel lights rather than the Yeah, it's just like what they're using what they're used to, doesn't it? Um, so, it seems to me that as we're asking for lights to come on, the lights around us are coming on rather than the cat ball. I'm going to leave the rim pod there till we actually move up a floor. If you wish. Yeah. Right, so. Right, and, I've got that um, in. Vicky's, Vicky's saying, when we talk about going upstairs, there's a lot of tapping going on. So. Other than me collecting bits and moving. Yeah, yeah, we were sat here at the time too about moving. Oh, right, okay. And there was tapping going on. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So, we've just got this place, or we've got this back together tomorrow, isn't it? We've shifted all their chairs, we've got to put them back, we're doing it tomorrow. But what no, we're going to no. do is that there, where the lift keeps putting that light on, we're leaving the rent up there for a minute. I've collected everything out up, all bars from your trigger objects I've got on the floor, okay? So that's where we're at at the moment. I need to take my phone so I can see any comments. Hey, what's well, told us down this end? It's down there. Right. Right. Uh, Let's move up to the activity area. We're all going on a summer. We're all going for 20 minutes or two. Oh, right. I think you've got everything up here. The only thing we've got down that end still is a REM pod to go off. Okay. You can have to close that. You might have to look up the nose and all that sort of stuff, people. Okay. Oh, I can just about fit in it. Right, this is looking at me. So this needs... Oh. And... I've lost my buttons. Hello, everyone who's joined in. Right, what's happening? Um, there's a, there seems to be new names. Deb Taylor, Frank Humphreys, things like that. Uh, we're just going to swap you around. Look, hang on, I'm up here. Oh, yeah. We're just going to swap you around. When we were in this end of the bar last night, we I asked... I can't see a lobby bit. Where are they going? Yeah. Yeah. You won't. You'll have to press it there. I've got fat fingers. There you go. That's the bar. Right, on the floor... I'll go and flash them so they can see. There's two capitals. Okay. And a motion detector. Now this end of the bar yesterday, Charlie come face to face with a rather angry looking man. A man that was in his 50s. Yeah, about 40, 40 Pin, Pinstripe suit. Um, people described him as a bit of a spear. A bit of a gangster, a bit of a... But whatever, he definitely didn't want us here. So, the thing we said when Sally asked me to talk to him was, if you don't want us here, please move the catwalk. And if you've seen the flashing light to the left-hand side of the screen, that is the... Uh, Motion detector yeah. lights that have been going off all night, but the one outside we've just this set it door. Off now, we? Yeah, the one outside. Yeah. We've just set it off, but it's a faulty light. So if we sit still at a stop, it's just I've set that off. Keep moving past the door. Right.
Let's go back into the same thing that we asked yesterday. If the spirit in this bar area wants us to leave and go back upstairs, we will respect your wishes, but not here to judge anything to do with your life. We're not here to make any comment on the things that you've done. If you wish us to leave, please set off one of the cat balls that you did yesterday. If you do that, we will go. I know yesterday Sally made me ask three times. Today we will go. Please move, please light the cat ball. Temperature's dropping. Yeah. Something happened until we left on the side of here. You just moved, you just set it off again. Yeah, but I can feel it. There's something there. Mm -hmm. I'm almost sat on Bob's lap now. <laughs> I'm moving up, leaning on him, and he's moving up, and I'm moving up, leaning on him, and he's moving up. I can't even we're see him. We're going to be at the other end of the room in a minute. Uh, apparently, there's lots of buffering. Uh, the buffering may have been where we moved it, mate. Can you, uh, hopefully you can see it now. Can you see it now? You've got a message in, so I assume you can. People, this has to be the most active area I've been in for a long, long time. And when we're sat here, and knowing that the only people in here all night is going to be me and Sally, you can say it's daunting. Daunting, daunting the right way. No, I think, we, I think when we go to bed, it'll be fine. I'll be knackered. You'll be up all night. I'll be asleep snoring. That'll be fine. It's in the bar's not open, eh? Would anyone See, be on the bar? I'd like to buy, pour, pour me a pint. As you're looking and you can see the corner of the bar, if you look right to the top of the corner of the bar, Behind that is where the door is that the man exited rather rapidly after he stood behind me yesterday. Please come forward and light the cat ball. If you can do that again like you did last night, we will leave. You won't have to do it three times like yesterday. John Kitchen. Hi, John. Hi, Mark. Please. Like the cat ball. We're not asking for much. And we know you're strong enough to do it because you've done it yesterday. Did you look at the view from me? Okay. Did you look at the view? Yeah, the it's covering, you know, like the bar, the door, the thing, and I think it's all the best of its width. What are you seeing at home? Anything yet? You know, so I feel the energy building. I can see a child's face. Where? Um, where can you see them, Richard? I've got to admit I'm feeling rather uncomfortable sat next to this door. Marie says they might want you to stay tonight. <laughs> if you want us to stay, please kick the cat ball, make it flash. If you want us to stay down here, we need you to give us a sign. Back chair to Brendan says there was something flashing at the back far end now it stopped. Jim was back on. Oh yeah Jim, we're still going mate. Um, yeah. 
We need to find from you if you want us to stay down here. We know you can do it. Can we ask the people that are at the spiritual production studio, can you give an estimated age of the child that you're seeing? They've brightened their vision. They brighten their vision in the studio so they can see easier what's building. Um, we did connect, or not us, the people at home were connecting with a child yesterday. So I'm just wondering if you're saying, what you say, five or six? How many fingers did you hold up to me, Tony? Eight. Eight. So, not much different, size wise. Interesting. Spiritual Productions, can we have a year on that, please? What era do they feel this young man is? Software update ready to install. I think I'll leave that for a while. Um, See if you can um, get the motion going on the ball. Because it's easy to listen to, wasn't it? Yeah, but Me, it wasn't enough or something. Really. Again, I know that earlier you've been using the motion detector lights towards the kitchen. Please, will you use this time then? One of the guests is saying 1800s. Very interesting. Mm, mm. Can they describe the clothing? Uh, okay, Craig, yeah, you come right back, mate. We may have moved upstairs by the time you're back, but don't be freaked out. It'll just be a different view. <laughs> I can't read. That's too far down. You hold your phone in your hand. You don't need it being out. Someone said the name George. Okay. What, somebody out loud here or somebody in the studio? If there's a young male in the room, could you go over and kick the cat balls for us, please? Just give them a shove and they start flashing, it won't hurt you. There's a few cat balls on the floor, it's got a pair of eyes, doesn't it? You know, those light to catch, isn't it? Mm. So I don't feel as bad as last night. Please, you're happy. I'm don't sat here next to this door wanting somebody to bloody jump round it at me. If someone says the name, oh, we're done. Can someone set the cat balls off for us, please? We're going to go to, if you don't want us here, please flash the cat balls. That one with a silence, isn't it? Yeah. Evening, Pauline. Ruffles around the neck and wearing shorts. Okay. Tell them what you were feeling. Um. Yeah, I could I could see a young man here with. Um, three quarter length trousers that are gathered in. I can see that there are uh, braces um, and the young man's got a, a short sleeve white shirt on and flat cap. The clothing seems to be black. Apart from the white shirt. And I know the name of Samuel um, is around me at the moment. I'm not saying it's his name, but I know someone's talking about a Samuel. So if we can have some confirmation on this, can we have a cat ball movement, please? Um, I do believe his name has just been corrected on this. Um, Someone's sat here. 
Yeah, I know. Someone is sat at these seats in front of us. Yeah, I know. I keep seeing the flickery light around the place. Exactly. I, know. I am at one of being drawn to the seats, and two, I am absolutely covered in goose bugs again. Yeah, I know. Okay, right. The spirit that's. Um, it's like they're taunting us, to be very honest. Very close, yeah, they could be. Um, maybe you don't want us to go because you're having fun. If you do want us to leave because it's not your, it, this is your area, not ours, <coughs> please make one of the catch, cat balls go off. I don't know how to put it quite <coughs> without swear words. It's like they're trying to take piss out of us. I'm sure they are. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so would I be there if I was a spirit? I don't know. Hi Eileen, I'm glad you're back. You found us again. Right, I don't know about you, Sal, but it seems like they're not going to react or play today. No. I know. It's and I, do you know what? I, a bit they don't do anything. Yeah, what I'm saying is, do you want to move upstairs? And yeah, take it up. It's a little bit warmer, isn't it? Yeah. And turn the lights off and leave the night vision cam for the go in. For the night. For the night. So we've got a trail cam camera for the night that's infrared, so hopefully if there's anything down, movement down here, we'll pick that up. It'll take photographs and it'll also take video, so uh, we can check that out. We just know they're here, don't we? And I do know that there is somebody sat. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm getting very heady in my ears and stuff, so I feel like they're getting blocked over. Okay. You've not been talking to Andy, have you? I know there's a, a Sam or um, Samuel sign. There's Samuel, it's not being shortened to Sam or Sammy, it's Samuel. Um, and I, I know that he's a very young man and, and he's working. You heard something then, didn't you? Because you're right. That's where the tramp, um, the limp pod is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I do know that this this young man is actually put to work. Um, it seems quieter down this end, but I think it's making us quiet. Oh, lovely. Sorry about that. We lost you and you're back. Right, we're going to take this upstairs. For the last time, Spirit, if you wish us to be down here and to stay with you and communicate with you, please flash the cat balls. They're quite easy for you to use, apparently. Oh, shit. Sorry everybody. It's alright, the outside lights come on. Um, as you can see by the flashing. It's a movement detector, but Sally did move her arm. So what I'm going to try and do is, in my mind, I'm going to try and say that's what's caused it. I don't bloody think so. But that's what oh, I'm that's way up the sofa. Um, so I'm going to go so down now. That's saying, if you wish us to leave, can we try and move the balls on the floor rather than the light in the hall? The thing is, every time we've asked for lights to go off today, they've it hasn't the been them, they've used yeah, the they've used their own So lights. I'm going to collect the REM pod. Right, Oi. Bob's going to be brave and go out by the lift and collect the REM pod, so you will hear that go off in a minute. Um, as we say, we're going to leave the infrared to camera, which is sensitive to movement and sound, or takes photographs and video. Um, so we'll be going through that once we return home, because we didn't bring our computer system. Um, Bob's now, as you can see, bottoms up, oi, yep. collecting cat balls and evening. everything, and we're going to move a floor up. So if there's anybody that wants to appear now in front of me, please do so. I'm getting brave now because we're leaving. Um, other than that, thank you very much for having us. We will be back down in the morning um, to put the room back together and say good. Well, that, you've got to go down the fire and turn all the lights up. Oh my god, yes I have. <laughs> You've got the torch, mate. Right? There's me being cheeky mouthy, I've got to go beyond that bar now. Right, okay, right. stay with us. We're going right. to do a little shifty. If we lose the network, stay there because we'll be straight. Let's move the floor upwards. Uh, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. Can you, what can you carry? My glass. Can you carry that as well? I'll put that in the bag. Have you got your torch? You can bloody wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll turn that round so you can see the old flashy lights and things. Right, there you go, so you're looking at my jacket.
we've got the old lot. <laughs> that is everything on the floor then. Right. As you can see, the lights are off. Sally, can you pick the board and the bottle of coke up please? And your glass. This is the flashy light. And, uh, oh, maybe I'll put it in here. Maybe I'll put it in here, so. Right, there you go. And that's how the works. How they work that. As you most can detect. I'm here. I'm only showing them how the lights work. It's trying to reconnect. So there we are. This is the lounge. See, this is a much, much nicer feel to it. Mm. There's that, there's that. Mm. Oh, yeah. The update was something pushed the camera out of my hand. Hold on, I'm just trying to lift it. A mound meter in that <coughs> chair went from 0 up to 0 0.7 on the milligals. The temperature would drop in on that table over there, was where we had the spirit box. Had quite a good connection. Um, no, I think we've got camera on that, sir. Sorry? Yeah, camera. Right. Right, door one, we had movement. I'm going to put the red pod there. It's a chair because it's right in the way of door one. Yeah. I'm just moving it. Oh. I wish you people at home could go through what I go through every time I have to go something. <laughs> Now, if I move this chair, they're not going to be able to see the K2. Are you the so you can see the door. Mm -hmm. Hey, welcome back. This is the reception area. As we said, completely different feel from downstairs. That bar downstairs is odd. Um, you may have noticed the red light in that window on the door, but you will find that traffic. Uh, no. If you go back a bit. Yeah, there you were. What else can you see? I'll put them together. So don't don't the other. Possible, possible. equipment. All right, people, we're back. So let's um have some comments, some suggestions. We've done quite well yesterday. I thought it would be white light by then, but... I've got Katie there now, you can see it, can they? No. Get to you. Without... Um, okay. Like me rustling around here still arranging things. Yeah, we're back. Missed anything? Yeah, we've changed floors, Eileen. That's what you missed. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, that went off. Then it's going off, but I 
I think that's about the month or two, like that. Yeah. Those are a bit to be honest. Put that over on the table. Well, that's settled now. If I put it by that door on its side, it, will, it should be up. Right, you see how it goes. You keep picking up the Wi Fi, I'll move it further away. Yeah. Oh, the light's still on on the fire. There's a bloke outside walking up and down. He's pacing up and down. I don't know. He's either lost or he wants to join Sally for a paranormal investigation. Right, so we've moved upstairs. So downstairs now, uh, this uh, K2 is going crazy, so it might have to move from where it is. Okay. I'll just set the table and I'll turn it off down first. There we go. Can you see that table? I can see the lock. You can see that? Yeah. Oh, you're getting really hard to jump this kid. No, I'm fine. Right, leave with me chair, right, me sat We'll sit still for a little while and then we'll set her off with the um, radio. Right, some people last night were picking up shadows down to the door, to the left of the door we're looking at. Um, side, that's we've into the door in the middle there, that's a traffic light, so don't worry about it. But in that glass there, People were saying that they could see the energy from downstairs come up and looking through that window. And to the left of the lamp, there's a, this is a reception area and a storage cupboard. And people were seeing shadows there as well. So we'll if there are any spirits in this, reception area with us today like you were yesterday please make yourself known no liquid but pardon sorry i need to go to this girl elizabeth i need to keep saying elizabeth at the moment okay elizabeth were you one of the house owners yes she run the um house House of um, Thingy. House of Thingy. House and of Pain. The um, upper class bottle. Okay. Her name is Elizabeth. Um, and I'm sure we're going to get communication from her. She's a little bit more forward. Yesterday she was here all evening but would not step forward, would she? She's a bit braver today then. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he's not here tonight. Maybe he doesn't come in with tonight. She's very young. Um, she's only about 26. Yep. Um, she runs it. She's not one of the girls. She runs it. She's the brothel keeper. Mm, mm. Okay, Elizabeth, if the brothel keeper was your profession, can you make. Gentleman's one? residence is the way she puts it. Okay, gentleman's residence. A brothel then. Um, can you make one of the lights go off that are around us, or make a tapping noise like this? That's only so we know you're here. Mind you, you probably wouldn't hear you over Sally's crunching and munching. Sally's heard a movement that it's just off camera, isn't it? If it continues, we'll just turn it around a bit. You seem to have uh, European visitors. Right. I'm going to make Sally go and sit down the other. We have no chair upstairs. Well, just go over up this. 
We've got Rachel, Christine, Six Others and John Fisher. Good evening. Um, I can't see all your names, but you've, it's just come up. It's Rachel, John Fisher and Christy and Six Others. This is the reception area of the Leem Hotel in Weymouth. It's a three-star hotel built in the mid-1700s. Spent most of the evening downstairs. We're now looking for some reactions upstairs. The red light in the door is the traffic lights outside. little crunchy noise. That's not a mouse. You can't hear me from here. Of course we can. Really? Yeah. You're eating rich teas. What do you expect? <laughs> With no tea to dunk it in. Camera slightly so we can see what is the disabled lamp and the door to the far end. Okay, I'll take that off because it's going to take all of the. Um... Okay, right there's that end. Sally has just caught her eye on some movement on the disabled ramp. Last night we did seem to have shadows in that area. It was picked up by a few of the viewers and also Sally saw to the, the, the door to the left of the ramp, uh, sorry, to the right with the glass in it, she saw a shadow person there. So this week's me I am. <laughs> right, come on then. Elizabeth, keeper of the higher class brothel, or the gentleman's residence, as you apparently like to call it, would you make yourself known, please? Can you make a noise for me? Can you flash one of the lights? Can you knock on the walls? Bang one of the doors? Walk around upstairs because we will hear the, f the movement of the floorboards. Um, Erica is seeing shadows by the white pillar. Erica, you're in the right area where people were seeing it yesterday. Craig from Canada is back. Craig, we've moved upstairs. Sally has made connections with what she thinks is a high-class brothel keeper. Elizabeth, can you come forward, please? We know you stood back a little yesterday, all concerned about who we were. You will know by now that we're not here to harm you. We're not here to judge your life. We don't care how you made your money. It was a different time, a different era, and stuff that we will not get involved in. We just want to make communication with you. Right, Sally, mm -hmm. Gwendolyn is picking up what looks like an oriental young lady with long black hair, moving to the doorway the way you saw the shadow person yesterday. Okay. Um, Erica Spencer is seeing them before you move the camera to. So, shadows that we saw yesterday 
in and around the disabled ramp. I would imagine that when the um, the mouse is finished eating all of the rich tea biscuits, mm -hmm. it will probably come back and get involved in this investigation rather than being on that unofficial tea break, which will be docked of the week. Elizabeth wouldn't have put up with this behaviour, Sally. If you had customers to see to, you wouldn't have had time for which things. I'm working hard enough to be biscuits. No, you're not. We're eating biscuits then. Just get the line. I understand from this lady she's talking about. Can you about. go back and round because you're not on camera and now I can just I'm see your... I can only see your body. I can understand. Go back. Get, get back. Back more. Back more. Back more. Back more. Back more. Back more, back more. I can see the top of your shoulders. I can't see your head. Sit down on the set. Connecting with this lady. <laughs> <laughs> she's uh, <laughs> Come this way I'm now. Connecting with this lady, Elizabeth. She's talking about. Um, oh, that looks good. Where the outside lights come on. Makes you look like you're religious. She's talking about. Dawkins. Okay, she's inferring. The name of Dawkins is related to this building. Um, I feel that Dawkins is the, the name of the, the um, it's a male that owns the property at the time. Uh, she's not giving a first name on him, um, you know, because I'm basically sort of talking to Master Dawkins. Um, but she ran it. Um, she's just back in the I was actually in communication down there. I was punching my biscuits asking her to communicate with us. Um, I don't like it up here, there's a door here um, to communicate with us by using some of the equipment in the room. Um, can everyone hear me okay at home? Yes, I think so. Um, I am a young lady. Caroline's saying that she's seeing shadow movement from the left to the right of the camera, so... Well, hopefully that's Elizabeth she's picking up on, because I was actually with Elizabeth when I was munching my biscuits, and obviously... Um, she wouldn't have let you eat like that. Psychically talk ...that's a spirit, so as I'm crunching my biscuits, we were in really deep discussion. Now, with this young lady, she is young. Um, she's got a lovely little figure on her. Um, she is wearing a um, very, very smartly dressed, a very fitted top. And um, um, it's put me off. I'm gonna have to come forward a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm aware there's a door here, and just past that door and down the stairs is where we were just a minute ago. Right. So hopefully you can still see me. Um, she's got a, a this this lady's wearing like a green crushed. Um, okay. She's talking about the 1857. Um, which would certainly go with what she's wearing. You'd have heard the bang upstairs, didn't you? Yes, the loud one. Yeah. Okay, for the, anybody who heard that, um, Gwendolyn's saying there's a lady standing behind you. Um, as Sally was talking then, there was a large, loud bang from upstairs. I hope somebody's heard it. Uh, Sally, as you're moving your head, the camera is focusing in and then focusing out. That may just be the automated focus on the camera. But carry on. Right, then there's a, a, a connection with the Isle of Wight with this property she's talking about. Um, she's saying that the majority of gentlemen that came here um, were very respectable. Uh, a lot of them were married. Um, I know there was a lot of what we would refer to as homosexuality um, because this was a place that um, what went on behind that door, uh, behind these doors, was where it ended. There was no um, threats. The people played well because there were other people um, that came here on their business meetings. Um, She's talking about the girls here were really quite sweet and she's also telling me that they were very young. Um, she's telling me that they were working here from 12 to 13 years of age. Um, they didn't seem to um, continue to stay here after. 
so we really are going with a young bracket of females. Um, Elizabeth, I'm really grateful for you to come forward this evening and speak to telling me she was gone from here by the time she was 35 years of age. Um, when you say gone? She, no, she didn't pass. She left here. Um, I think she... Okay. She was speaking about meeting a male here um, and that she just moved on with me. Oh. I do know there's witchcraft in this area as well because she's talking about witchcraft. Um, I'm just trying to decide whether she means witchcraft or what we would call witchcraft today or whether we are talking about spiritual people. Because as we go back in time, um, spiritualism was witchcraft. Um, she's showing me um, someone that's known in this area. Um, she's talking about it. It's written down in history that there is a lady. Uh, yeah, thank you. She's never had much. Just trying to get us given a name so we can go on Google and have a look at this because it is all oh, there goes the temperature. It is registered. Um, the lady who, who was in this area that was known for witchcraft. Um, she said she was a little bit strange, but she had wisdom beyond her years. So um, I'm presuming that the spiritualist and probably have a spiritual link the way she's describing it rather than flew around the place dressed in black on a broomstick. I believe that by saying that witchcraft, I believe we've got a spiritualist in this area, it which just... coincides with yesterday when someone was talking to me in the afternoon about Arthur Conan Doyle. Uh -huh. But would it have been able to use, I mean, witchcraft, or is it known natural remedies? Exactly. That's what I say. Spiritualism is witchcraft. It's only because um, people want to put a label on it that, we, that um, spiritualism came about because witchcraft got a, an awful name because of films again and all this sort of rumoury stuff because with witchcraft you're, you're an uh, earth being and you've got knowing beyond your years and this is what I'm being described as this lady here is who was a witch in the area but it isn't, it's a lady that's spiritual and very aware of things around because when you've got the true spiritual link you can be guided by the spirit to what is right and what is wrong for you um, plant wise um, you know, that type of thing. You know, we've got the healers and, you know, it's so easy to, um, sorry, I'm a little bit distracted because she's, she's still talking on the side of me. Um, I know that Eddie, Eddie, she keeps saying Eddie, and I've got a feeling Eddie may be the gentleman that she met. Eddie, I struggle to pick up the surname, Eddie Nichols, Nicholson? Hello Scott, how are you? Eddie Fine. Nichols or Nicholson, she, she keeps talking about him and and she talks about it, my flutter. Yeah. So I feel this is the gentleman. This is the gentleman she run. Right. Um. Just before you go on, Gwendolyn's saying the lady's standing behind you, and Craig is saying that there's definitely something in the room, but you can't tell if the shadow behind you is the camera or not. Right. Um, I know that this is this young lady because as she speaks to me, she speaks a little bit different because she can't hear properly. She is actually part deaf. So as she's talking to me, I'm trying to pick up what she's saying. Um because it is a little bit different. Um, with the, um, the local witch, um, she's showing me um, this rather than having, talking to me. Um, but she, I do know that this has gone down in history of this, this lady in this area. I'm still waiting for a name for this person so we can Google and have a look. So she shows me an old yellowy paper of the time and this, it's written in there. Um, I'm just trying to zoom in on it to see if I can name out. Um, there's a, okay, let's talk about Patrick. Just talk to Patrick and then we'll talk about it. Who's Patrick? I don't know. It could be this lady's surname. I'm trying to get her to give me the surname of this person, the witch of the area. This could be the surname. Have you got anything jingling on you? No. Did you hear it? No. You just made a jingling noise. Can you make that again for me? It almost sounds like little bells. Or tiny keys. Do you know that sort of sound? Okay, carry on. We've got Scott and Craig. Scott Bowers and Craig 
from Canada having a social moment, then meeting up again after a while. Let me put the cat ball in the room. They're on, they're on the floor. Do you want me to put it over by Sally, Craig? Because they're a bit of the room. Sally's looking at the teapot bit, though. Um, how about this? How about if I move that leather chair where you are in there and you can sit in it? Which one? That one. No, how about that one? I don't know. Apparently we've got a haunted leather chair in here as well. I keep seeing lights across it. Craig's heard the jingling. You know what, I'm so lucky to hear that in the playback. Scott, it's been good, mate. Yeah. Quite interesting. Um, what we're finding last night, we asked them to use cat balls to tell them that they didn't want us in there. Tonight they've been using the building sensor light. Craig's now saying no, so I don't know what he's heard. Right. Mm -hmm. side of it but yeah you're on it if you're crackling it's just me rolling sally's bag i got it in time saw last night on the rerun thanks mate but what they're doing um scott is instead of using the cat balls like last night they've been using the building infrared motion detectors to turn the lights on this room we're on all the time But in other areas, there for, for instance, down in the kitchen, the kitchen light kept coming on. When I asked for the spirit to move closer, the one in the room closer to us where the lift is, that went on. Craig wants to chat soon. Sexual. Sexual. Yaks. Yeah. Hello, radio. Yes. If you've come to join us to speak through the radio, um, my name is Sally Ann, and my husband Bob is there, we're paranormal investigators, we're not here to talk to you or judge you in any way. It'd be really lovely if you could say one more thing, please. So, could you say Sally, or could you say Bob for us to know that you are communicating with us? It's really strange because we've talked about the sexuality of people that come, came, came here and to have the word sexuality come straight across. So could you say Sally or Bob or tell us your name please? If the balls went off you wouldn't catch them anyway, would you? Not with this mate. Right? Okay. Okay. Not here. Well, what they'll have to do is go by the settee. Go back. I'm only trying to move the camera so that. Right, what have you missed, mate? What have you seen? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fine. Elizabeth, can you move forward, have a talk to us on the radio, please? Thank you. And how are we doing spiritual vouchers? Are they still online with us? Oh, I haven't heard anything they, from... Are they receiving anything from there? I've not heard anything from Richard, but that means, doesn't oh, mean... Oh, that was cat balls. No. What did he say then? Something like that book or cat book or... It sounded like... It didn't sound like balls. Could you repeat it, please? Okay, 
good cut off. And the top cut off. Maybe, maybe. Well, you want Sally to go to the chair crate. She will in a minute, mate. She's just gone for a fag. Um, right. You may, you know, with this radio, there's no white noise. And I find it much easier to listen to than the FP7. Just purely because of the white noise. In the end, I'm concentrating on that and not what's being said. Well, you might be right. Maybe I have been available too long. Um, I don't know, my friend. I don't know. Please, if there's any spirits with me now, Sally's outside, so I'm in this hotel. There's 35 rooms. This is nine. This is 1740s hotel. 35 rooms. I'm on my own. If anyone would like to speak to me. Please put a message through that radio or move one of them cat balls so the lights go off. I'm now getting covered in goosebumps, so somebody's here. Somebody's trying to talk, and if you would just like to say hello, please do. Come on. I'm quite happy for you to talk to me. Right, that tiny little sh there, that is, that's different. Beyond. Beyond what? Is that you, Elizabeth? Yeah, Scott, we start at eight o'clock on a Tuesday, mate. Elizabeth, Sally said you were a upper class lady. So our chat, it's our chat show rather than an investigation on the Tuesday, um, Scott. Come on. I talked to you, but I know you talked to me then. I would love you to talk more. It's very kind of you to talk to me. Thank you, Scott. That means a lot, mate. We should share more para unity. That's what we need to be doing within the industry. There's uh, too much of that bitching and jealousy. Okay. I'm in the situation where I'm the only one here. I can't hear you. I don't talk to you the way Sally does. Although Sally has just come back from now. So there's... Interesting. Yeah. I don't mind the end of that. It's like driving you rented out of the room. Oh, <laughs> Oh, what's going to happen now in this box? Right, we've had a lady speaking. Okay. Well, I think you're supposed to be sat in the chair. And what's going to happen? Um, actually, when I was acting, I don't want to speak to the lady has spoke to me. Pardon? Drink off. Pardon? She's an air. Man. Where? Yeah, carry on. I've got one ear on there and one ear on here, so I'll tell them everything. Right, yeah. Um, asked what the situation was. I said I was on my own, and that's when the lady started speaking. Okay. Right. So you're watching there, are you? I'm watching everything. I'm trying to, I'm doing the best I can. It's just like, if I move that too much now, I'm going to get the liver chat. And I didn't. Again. Again. Right, I'm ready to speak to you again. Sally's back. Um, Good evening. I, as I was trying to talk to you, 
and explain to you. Sally talks to you mentally because she's a trained medium. I can hear you and see you. I, I need to talk to you through things like this. And it's lovely to hear your voice. Good evening, Catherine. Um, if you have a message for us, please bring it forward. And what I've noticed is that noise. Mm. It's not a normal noise right now. Um, Scott's saying hello. Well, thank you for joining us. Lovely to have you along. Right, please, can you give us, a, maybe you haven't got a message for that. Maybe it's someone at home. The lady that was speaking on the radio, are you connected to this building? He was summoned to the... He was summoned? Some out of it, I thought so. I knew Elizabeth that's, that Sally was talking to just now. Can you send healing, please, if you if you can? I would really appreciate it. Put one of the cat balls up on that table. Then they wouldn't need to be near the table to win the field. No, just put one there, just in case you were standing there. This is quite new to this building, isn't it? She. She, no, not she. You, mate. No, this birth that wasn't meant to be rude. The word she was not meant in any disrespect no, at, not all. at all. It just meant if you were stood there. Don't mind that picture of it. You may be able to interact with the cat ball I've just put on the table. Said you heard someone to the summon to the yeah. Stratford. Okay, I didn't hear what that's that something Stratford Hotel or something to that effect that can be googled because this obviously wasn't called the, the whatever it is, it was just few years, it could have had another name. So she said something like Stratford Hotel, didn't she? Stratford Hotel or something to that effect. I have to re listen okay. to that, but it was something hotel. Okay. Elizabeth, do you know who summoned you there? Some kind of... Yeah, some kind of what, my love? I'm sorry, uh, that's not meant to be rude either. Good night, Debbie, if you're going to bed. Elizabeth. Lassel. Lassel. Did you say Hassel? Craig, uh, um, I think I did ask who it was, and maybe the name was Hassel. Good night, guys. Gwendolyn's going off now. Gwendolyn, we will speak to you soon. Uh, that was gone. Elizabeth, are you still here, love? Be respectful, Elizabeth. I am being respectful. You don't call her love. 
Okay. Was there a summons because of the type of work that went on behind those doors? Well, you just heard what Sally said. Is that the reason you were summoned? <laughs> Didn't make the picture. D you don't approve I, to it? My name is Sally. I'm sorry, I'll allow Bob to continue. Are we stuck there? No, we're not stuck here, Craig. We're staying for the night. We're the only people here. Um, Elizabeth, you said you were summoned and people didn't approve of it. Um, I, I assume we're talking to the gentleman's club that was run here. Is that correct? More than a man's thing. Um, shall we use, uh, use the word brothel? I don't know what you would use. I said gentleman's club and they said more than a man's thing. This is definitely threat communication because it's the only voice. And that noise keeps happening. Elizabeth, um, I'm just trying to work out that I assume that we um, that what we're going to be doing is the police or some local residents have complained about what was happening in this building, and because of that, you've been summons to appear before a committee or a court, is that correct? Catherine's saying there's a man a. watching by the door. What did she just say? A, I think. Um, I guess I'm just trying to work out what you were summons for. What were you doing that made people summon you? Why, what did they not appreciate? Okay, thank you. Um, there was knocking up the far end of the room then at the same time. Did you receive some kind of financial fine for that, Elizabeth? Behind the van? It's a bit noise, isn't it, towards the street? Hmm. Van? 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 Yeah, it sounded like van. It could have been van. Well, you were banned from keep running this establishment. Elizabeth, are you in this room with us now? If you would step forward, okay, you have stepped forward because the K2 went up to 2 then. Thank you so much for that. We really do appreciate you taking this time and talking to us and making this communication. Here, Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm in here as in, in this space. Are you in this space because you choose to be? Do you enjoy being here? Not bad, okay, great. Um, 
direct communication. Yeah. Craig's picked up the fact that it's the same voice all the time. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, that's a male. That's a different person. Um, Elizabeth, are you still here? Praise Okay, you're with someone. Thank you for that. I was a bit worried that you had been um, moved on, shall I say. Definitely. Yeah. Elizabeth, do you stay in this hotel? Oh, it's a hotel now, or this building, I should say. I don't know, but you also see the man said something about Danny Short. Um, Catherine is picking up someone whispering. Elizabeth, can we still talk to you? It would be lovely if we could. We're really enjoying this experience. Are you happy to talk to us more? Elizabeth, who's Morton? Rose Arnold is picking up someone stood by the chair. Male or female, Rose? Elizabeth, have, have you had to leave us? No, we're not comedians, my friend. Um, listen, I'm going to assume that you've moved Elizabeth on because you, you have. Elizabeth, if you can still hear us, I wish to thank you for your effort. That was an amazing communication and that was really great. Wonderful. Yeah. Maybe Scott, I'd love to come. We, me and Sally would love to come on your show one night as special guests, so that would be great. Um, keep in touch, mate, and we'll sort that out. It's monkey. Okay, we're not monkeys, my friend. We are here, seriously, just trying to make contact with Elizabeth, just to find out her story. There's nothing that... Um, we're not doing anything to harm you. We're not doing anything to judge you. We don't mind what you've done in your lifetime. We just want to make contact and communication. Ask a question. Thank you. We do try to ask her questions, and it is really just about making contact and proving to people that are watching and I'm very interested just exactly what happened. Is 
You just want to know what happens after you move on. How close did it? Okay, so there's... I can't tell if that's two lights on the... Two lights on the cable. You can't see the chairs anymore. Okay. Came close today. We came close today to what, my friend? I'm, I'm not being rude by calling you my friend. I know we haven't been introduced, but when you say we came close today, what did we come close to? Come close to what? Come us. Come close to showing us out, giving us proof. We come close to being around us. Are you the sailor that was downstairs with Sally? What just because he's showing us? Excuse me, we had very, very good spirit communication here tonight. I would love it if you would continue talking to us. An excellent thing. We thank you for your effort. Um, someone's just chucked up an angry face. If someone's upset with what we're doing, please tell us what we're doing wrong in your opinion. Um, to the spirits in this room, or in this building, please come back. Please let us know exactly what is happening in I mean, it's quite obvious you haven't died, and as some people would claim, there's nothing after, there obviously is. So what is going on? With, um... To do with what, my friend? With. With, um. It sounded like, didn't it? To do with, um. Just to know what you do. How you continue? Do you continue still living your same life over again? Do you continue parts of your life that you want to change? Do you have objectives while you're on that side? I mean, the theories on the human side of life, on life that happens after death, is wide ranging. As you... Yeah. We would love to talk back to you, Elizabeth, if you could. Um, yeah, I mean, saying it in theories of life after death, we would love someone to actually tell us something of what you do. Elizabeth, would you like Sally to come and talk to you again? Thank you for all the, the them hearts, mate. Whether that is sending them up, that's great. Thank you. If I brought another chair over next to that one, I think you have. I think I had it. No, I think you had. Oh, okay. Didn't finish the sentence. Gemma, don't say sorry for sending up hearts. We love them. That means that you're enjoying the programme. You Thank think you. we had what, please? Not them. One further back in the building and one in here. It's 
This is a Spent Night in Baghdad, you've not come up with hard things, so good night. I think you had to. To the gentleman that's replying, can you just explain what you meant? Okay. Listen, we'll probably we'll probably turn the cameras off pretty soon. Um, things don't get said over the radio if you don't communicate with us. You should make it sound before they speak. And he says, what do you think there should be some... Um, but we're not teasing you. We're not what we, we just want to establish some contact. So, we can explain who we are and what we do and, and perhaps just find out about you. There's nothing that we want to do that's to harm you or judge you or, you know, that your life was your life. Life that. Life that. There's life here. Okay. If there's life here, that's lovely. Thank you very much. That's part of the things that we need to know or, or would love to know. Oh, my stomach is absolutely turning over. I do believe there's someone very close here that's very strong. I'm not sure it's the same one from downstairs. I don't feel threatened by this one. I don't think so. Millions of years in front. Millions of years in front. Ah, okay. So life goes on eternally. Is, is this what we're saying? Um, which is a wonderful thing, so long as you do. as long as you don't keep making. Um, does life does life get progressively easier? Hey, see. Thank you. Is this because each lesson we learn life for this life carries forward? Oh, look, Gemma has sent a grumpy face. <laughs> All right, Gemma, we're not worried about that. You can send some smiley faces later. I just wondered what it meant. What I find it interesting is um, there's not much in the way of music. It's just those two people. Yeah, you do get occasional. Yeah. UFOs, that's very interesting, thank you. Um, are UFOs actually from outer space or are they, as we were discussing the other week, a different vibration of this space? Scott, meet Gemma. Gemma is someone we're going to be raising some money for. can help us out on that. When I speak Very much of it. Very much of it. Um, okay. Are they fu 
future variations of humans. And then we're going off at tangents to what we started off at, but... Which would be somewhere around it, somewhere around the time. Of, uh, I'm sure you can hear Sally whispering for me to ask you what was in 1947. Please. You're very good at looking at me. Yeah, you're as good at nudging as what which of us? Oh, if you do talk to me, don't talk to me, talk to them. You talk to me later. Sorry, this is one of Richard and Judy's um, 1945, the end of the war, right? Yeah, it was 47. Um, well, at least as far as I know. Talking around UFOs. <clears throat> okay, that's interesting you should say that, Catherine. Someone else picked up that young lady with long black hair earlier. The bomb said it. The bomb said it. The 1947, the bomb said it. We're talking the end of the war. Um, Ollie was saying very similar. Is this when you passed? Folklore and myth. Folklore and myth. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm guessing the end of the world was folklore and myth. I'm guessing they're still popular on small islands that carried on. Means they were buggers, weren't they? Tell me your name, my friend, please. My name's Bob. It's fine. Um, this is Sally. Good evening. Thank you for coming forward. We're here with respect and interest. And no bad intentions. We don't wish to judge you. We don't wish to harm you, and we have no intention of interfering with your life as you're leading it now. Too, I think there's two lights on, but then I think it's my eye, and then I don't know what it is. I think there might be two lights on. I've got two, and then it looks like one. Can you tell me your name, please? Hey, I'm Bob, this is Sally. I'm only here to talk to you. Please don't go. Radio telescope. Radio telescope. What, looking for UFOs? Is that what we need? Okay.
here and bangs within the building. Only people here on me and Sally was out here. All right, we're still waiting to talk to someone. Is there anyone else that would like to speak to us? We would. We would or wouldn't? We would. We would. Thank you. We invite anyone that wishes to... What devices are we using, Bob? Um, at the moment, we've got the cat ball, um, the K2. We've got a motion detector sat down on the other end of the floor. We've got an infrared cam trail set up in the downstairs bar. And apart from that, just the radio. We've got yeah. a REM pod up there. Oh, there's a REM pod at the other end of the bar as well for anything that's moving. Send signals. Yes, they do send signals. Thank you. Um, Catherine, yeah, we've done that one. So if there is another spirit, or the same spirit, that would like to communicate with us, please just come forward, because we would love to talk to you. Like I say, we're here with interest. There's not a bad intention with within either one of us, we're just here with love, respect, and out of interest for you. Wouldn't it be successful? Thank you very much. That would be great. And then we will sit here as long as you wish to talk to us. Catherine said. Is there any information you can give us? Um, do you know like what's happening to myself and Sally in our life in the future? Do you see everything planned out? See, it's a great thing with this radio, Scott. Everything is playing because you haven't got the white noise drowning it. Hello, Cindy. You should be in bed. Naughty as well, mate. I'm trying. You're trying. Thank you. Um, it'd be great if you can use the radio and the equipment that's around us. Like you say, there's a look. For the people at home who, who visually can't see anything, on the floor, just in front of the sofa, the settee down there, is a That ball contains flashing lights. If you set that off, it will not harm you. It's just to let people know you're there. Um, on the table, we have the K2, which view is. my view is that way truly appreciate the fact that you've come here to talk to us. We thank you for that. It's a field device, so it's actually measuring the magnetic field in the area surrounding it. If you look, and in theory, I mean, don't forget, none of us are experts. In theory, if you walk towards that, you should be able to make those lights move. Yeah, it is exciting. Thank oh, you. Exciting. It's exciting to us because it's actually a visual aid for us to know that you're there. That's what they're for. Um, again, like I said, there's a lot of theory about the energy of spirit life. And the theory is that it uses magnetic fields to travel around. So, if you went near it, you might be able to make that light go up, go up to red. Yes, it is theory. And I'm sorry, mate, it is all theory because we're not experts. We don't know. You get that? 
Thank you. We don't know because we don't know your life. We don't know how you live. We don't know what you're made of. We don't know how you communicate. Because living this side, we forget everything about the spirit life. We come to this earth, we learn our lessons, hopefully, so that after we pass on into spirit, we progress a little bit. I've never used a portal, um, Scott. Maybe that's something you, we can talk about. Could you explain? We're talking a lot of theories, and, it, and that's because that's what they are. There's no experts in this side of life that's an expert on your side of life. Um, could you explain what happens to us? Could you let us know how things change? What energy you use? There's so many questions. find a planet how does it go from there Okay. If you, if that's you, you're deciding what to do about what, how, how you react to us. Find a planet. Decide what to do. Yeah. Please carry on. I'm not sure, Craig. I'm not sure. Come on, we want to sponge up your information that you can give to us. Your information will help guide our lives. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, it's time we woke up. Yes, mate, we're trying to, but we need your help and guidance to wake up to the, the whole, um, the whole different vibrations and vibes of life. There's so much we don't see. Would you help us? To guide us. That's all. Is this thinking from the past of the future? See, Craig said what I thought he said. I thought he said... <laughs> it sounded like someone laughed. Um, I thought he said at all, mm. but I wasn't sure. Craig thought he said asshole. Yeah, it was at all. Yeah, yeah one or the other. Similar. 
Great mate, people Excuse mate. me sir, could you tell me, are you from the past or the future? That's interesting. I'll read that tomorrow, Scott. That looks quite interesting. She's deep. Eileen feels he's from the future. Oddly, Eileen communication with people. In my head. This is what it's reminding me of. If you are from the future, um, yeah. Okay. Don't tell him to say that, Bob. What was what? Was, if you are from the future, are you able to help us? So this gentleman sounds quite sage, so quite intelligent. Not mine. We were given a figure by the last people from the future that we communicated with about how far they were in the future. Could you tell us how far you are, if you are? Is it some person? The last time we took this a lot deeper was when we'd done several nights of radio communication on the trot. Winks. Okay, winks, nice. You're getting a second chance. Sally thought we'd blown the chance to talk with the future before. Are you giving us a second chance to reopen that channel? Catherine, we normally do EVPs, but the last two nights we have worked without an EVP. Um, sometimes I feel that they try and hide if, you're, if you are using that. Other spirits want to talk to you and want to be heard. So they, they come forward more. Are there any spirits still on this radio? No, it seems to me that now we're talking about the future, it seems to have gone very quiet. And I think that Oops. afterwards, after we've shut this camera down probably, um, I need to say that he's very guarded in what he's saying. Mm. <coughs> right, are you? Are you happy sat here for a second? Because I need to go to the toilet. No, I can't. Okay. Right, I'm going to leave you in the presence of Sally. Sally's a lovely lady. Please talk to her. Good evening. Thank you for stepping forward. Um, like Bob was saying, uh, we were in communication with the future once before. What's interesting? Sorry? We've just gone to the toilet. It won't be long. Um, 
Are we having a second chance at communicating with you, please? Are you happy to speak to me or would you rather wait for Bob? I'm a spirit medium, thank you. The lady that's speaking, would you like to tell us your name? Hi, right, Jeanette. Yeah. Something interesting. Yeah. Okay. I said, would you, are you happy to me or would you rather wait for Bob? Okay, I am here. Please don't go shy on me. I'm loving talking to you. And I think that we will spread the word. Is long, there, is there a, a message for everybody that's watching at the moment? A long way if that's what you want. I'm Kermit. Orlando. That noise. Sounds like a vibration. I haven't heard that before in this room or anywhere in this hotel. Let me go up your fact, see if you can hear it outside. Stop. Is there, one, is there one message from you for the people that are watching tonight? Oh, it's reading. Listen, I don't know if you're losing anything. I don't know if you're just deciding to go quiet. I'm wondering if you're talking about I'm absolutely fascinated by what you've been saying. And I give you a great deal of thanks for what you've done tonight. Well, I hope it wasn't pushed into it. Um, but we've loved it. Is there any message for anybody else? Or for me and Sally? Or Sally? Is there a message?
Come on, Sammy's outside, but I'll pass it to her. I keep hearing that little voice, that's very nice. Have you lost your energy? Would you like us to stop? If you would like us to stop, if you would like us to stop, please say stop. If you would like to carry on, please continue. Okay, well, I think everyone at home can hear that you've stopped talking. I really don't know what that's, yeah. I really don't know what that noise is. Is that some kind of alien signature? I don't know. There again, what is, what is that noise? Can you tell me what that noise is, please? Because that's not music, and it's not a language that I know. Please repeat it. Not here. I don't understand what that noise is. It's become a regular, it's not a language and it's not music. Okay, it is a very important topic and I'd love to talk more, but I have this feeling in me that you're losing your energy. Eileen. Uh, Eileen, you're right, that may well be high speed transmission, but I'm just not, obviously, we're not trained to understand what we're saying. Is this the new spirit team coming to work with us? Okay, That's, that is an interesting comment from Sally there. Are you a new spirit team being put together to work with us? Yeah. Is that yes or no? Are you coming to work with us? I don't think that's German, Catherine. It's way too old. Yeah, somebody come back and sit on the new ship and all. Are you still there? See you, Craig.
Twenty-four. Thank you. If you are trying, we do appreciate it. Craig, we'll talk to you later. Um, what Scott's saying is that when the device goes quiet, the spirit are building up their energy for the next world. I think it reminds me of you were talking about them to stay here because they recognise that noise. When we last communicated with, with, with our spirit team, um, there was that very strange noise before they started to speak. Can yes, you remember? Yes, yes, that's right. Craig's just off. You want to take your mic to him? Good night, Craig. Thanks for joining us. That actually did sound like German then. Um, I only said it. It's not a language as we know, so that would make sense. I mean, if it is just something, a, a connection being formed, shall we say. Sounds like someone's really trying. Please keep going. You're going to have fun? Good. Thank you very much, my friend. Good night, Craig. You um, Be safe in whatever you do tomorrow. To the spirits that are actually in this building, we leave and go home tomorrow, but we hope to be back soon. I hope that you will reconnect with us. Hope. Hope. Hope or hopes. Is that hopes or hope? Yeah, it could be hopes. It sounded a bit like hopes, but it could have been hopes. Uh, yes, there are hopes we reconnect to and that you'll reconnect with us. But by the sound of what you just said, if it was hopes, I would guess that what you actually mean. No, it's that. It's that noise again. It's that bit here. And someone said that sounded like German, and then that sounded like our German on the end of it. Yeah. In the pack. Eileen. If you're on the spirit team, can I ask you, um, will you be coming back to our own home to continue this conversation? Um, so that we can actually build a stronger link together. I mean, do you have any idea what this is? Well, Scott, Scott has obviously done a lot of investigating and uses. Um, Spirit boxes and portals. Catherine's feeling this is a German officer. And we have Are you a German officer? One of the people that are watching from home have the impression of a German officer. Eileen, buffering badly now, just when we need your information. Sorry. I think it was a no. It's getting cold around here. Are you going to be working with us for physical evidence, please? Uh, thank you, Eileen. 
I mean, I'm just asking if you have any idea what these noises are. That noise. Do you know what that noise is? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Are you going to work with us on physical evidence too? received at this studio, my friend. Is there any information picked up from there? If you're our spirit team, can I ask that stuff? Well, that does sound good. You are spirit team you've come in to communicate with us this evening. Could we have a name to um, know it by, please? We'll change the batteries and try again tomorrow as well. Spirit team. I'm just going to try and pass this on to the tech guys to see if they can slow it down. James Bishop. Hello, James Bishop. How are you? That was clear. Yeah. I think that'd be wonderful. Sally is intending to go back to physical mediumship and her development. Will you be able to help? It isn't really. Is it really what, my friend? Is it really what you did? Or is it really physical mediumship? It isn't ready. Oh, I don't understand. It isn't ready. Okay. Did you say I'm not ready yet? Actually, that sounded very Scottish. I would get Eileen to translate that. What is it, really? Ready or really? Am I not well enough to start yet, please? Jim said that was really clear. Richard, go on to bed, mate. I know you're tired. For the batteries. Um, the long noise. Um, 
got the same that sometimes it's caused by mm. battery, <coughs> battery dropping. No, I've seen it on this one. No, I can just bump that one straight away. I've, I've seen this one go down. Yeah, uh, apparently Sally's experience of battery one has got so uh, it tends to go quiet and then go boom boom. Yeah, okay. There's no distortion. Um, I was told by um, a lady called Pat that once I'm well, my physical mediumship will begin and, and fly along. Are you telling me I'm not well enough yet to start this? Yeah, okay. Well, let's try it again with me speaking then. Um, Look in the mortuary. What mortuary? Look in the mortuary. There's drunken people. Is there one here? Was there a mortuary local to this building? Or was part of this building used as a mortuary during the war? Maybe this is why we're getting the 1947 and things and the bomb. And... Hmm. You just be what? You just be here? Are you overseeing this communication? It goes on a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, it takes a while to build the energy up. Yeah, because yeah, no, we picked up big time between one and two o'clock every day, didn't we? Welcome back, Caroline. <coughs> Where was the local mortuary that you spoke of? She thought it said, what is this? Bullshit. Not bullshit. Thank you for the swear word. It's proof of not no, to be on the radio. But I wonder about the mortuary. Was the, bullshit, the mortuary bullshit? Or Were they winding us up on the mortuary? It wasn't actually here. Somebody teams, somebody teams with us. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Scott. We'll have to link up at some point. Um. I think somebody jumped and said, no, it's not Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we are into this kind of thing, and we love you for answering it. It's so good of you. Thank you. Is it um, insulting uh, and below them to cat ball and things like that? Are they above that? To be honest, is that why we started off with um, monkeys, clowns? I think that when we were downstairs, 
um, we were asking for the cat ball to be moved, which yesterday did, we know. Mm. Oh, please, sorry. Maybe this is to do with the mortuary, though, there's a policeman. Um, I believe we've moved on from Capital. Thinking, you know, is that why we started off with the monkey you know, a joke? Mm. Because all, you know, because, you know this, we know the spirit around is very intelligent around, you know, and we're asking them to push a cat toy. Yeah. You know, the communication here tonight is absolutely wonderful because we, we have debunked that this is not radio channel because the conversation is actually right. Oh, there's that. Yeah, midnight, that happened yesterday as well. Yeah, um, because uh, please join in at any point that you wish to. Um, you know, you're talking about spirit man with high intelligence and we're asking him to play with a cat toy. What's that keep flashing up on the top of that? 55 thing? seconds till the end of the live video. All right. Maybe we've run out of battery. Apparently, we're going to have to leave you. <laughs> but if, if this one does cut out, we will come back on another device. But it's saying 50 odd seconds. <laughs> Thank you. I, if I remember right, your Facebook will allow you a certain amount of live time. Ah, well. We're very so, close to the end. Tomorrow. <laughs> We're very close to the end. We've probably it sounds like we've pushed our limit at four hours because we did start at eight o'clock. For an hour and a half. That's what we're be doing. <laughs> well we're making the most of having this place and the communication tonight. Thank you all for joining us. Um